Welcome back to Shantae and the Seven Sirens. It has been one week since the last time we played, and I hope I haven't forgotten everything. I'll tell you what I haven't forgotten. How amazing that this uh, intro sequence is. I still can't believe they got Studio Trigger to, to, to animate it and everything. Not, now, I wasn't clear about this last time. The in-game animations are not made by Studio Trigger. They're made by uh, another studio entirely. But they, everything in this game is just so polished. Way forward, one of my favorite indie devs. They actually are based in Los Angeles. And uh, I've never been there personally. Uh, Death Burritos, what's up? I've never been there personally to their headquarters, but uh, when I was in college, they had a little pre-release party thing for Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. And I actually went to that, was able to play the game early and get like a poster signed by, I actually don't know who, somebody. Not the creator of Shantae. I assumed he'd be there, but he wasn't. Go check. Speaking of, speaking of merchandise for Shantae series, check this out. If I can find it on my desktop. And I'll just do this. Uh, here. Uh, th there? Show up, please? I, I thought I had this. Hello? Picture? Let me just, uh, let me just go find it again. Here we go. Check this out. I was able to... I got, I got, I got a package the other day. It was sent to my office, and I it took me until now. It took me until now to to go ahead and go get it. Uh, okay, regardless of what you think about Funko Pops, I, I don't collect them, but they, they somehow just appear in my apartment. They made a Shantae one. I'm assuming to celebrate the release of the game, but either way, I have it now. All those other figures, those are those are figures you have to build yourself. They, they made a whole line of them released in Japan. The way forward as a company gets crazy with this stuff. And what is signed by the creator of Shantae, check this out. This right here, this model, which I have not built, because I'm scared to open it. Right there, Matt Bozon. That is the creator of Shantae himself. Uh, and it's signed. I was one of the lucky people that when I ordered that, it actually, it actually came with a signature. So I, that's the reason I haven't built it yet. I'm scared of like devaluing it. Fuzzy Bear, what's up? Hello? Hello, Senor Chicken. Hello, yourself! Yeah, we're continuing Shantae. Uh, we're 11% done with the game, and it's very cute. And, uh, if you, if, if you, if you, if you need to be reminded, if you haven't been up to speed, it's a Metroidvania game that came out last week, and it's very good. The design of that first dungeon. Oh boy, I... I'm not gonna lie, uh... Me being stuck for a little bit there was my fault because every time I get a key in a video game, it seems like I never understand that I have it. But the design, besides that, besides my own faults, was pretty aces. I can't wait to see the next one. Wherever it is. Uh, so this girl has an exclamation point, so I'm assuming that's progress. Where in the world is Tree Town? I checked the west shoreline, but there's nothing over there. At least nothing I can see. Look at her. She's booing me. She's booing me because I'm a dumb dumb. Don't worry, I'll be smart at the video game someday. Alright, so last time we played, we became a newt. Very cute. Cute newt. And we rescued this genie over here. I forgot her name entirely, but I'm assuming it's Bubbles. Because she just looks like Bubbles from freaking uh, Powerpuff Girls. She gave us the seer dance, which allows us to see hidden stuff. So I'm assuming that's going to be, uh, along with this, along with the newt, is going to be instrumental to finding the next area. Yeah, so welcome on in, everybody. Hope you all are doing well since the uh, last stream. I streamed yesterday. I don't usually stream on Wednesdays, but I, I thought about shaking the schedule up a little bit. Yeah. How do I like the game so far? The game's great. I was a little bit worried because this is the first real Shantae game that's come out since... Uh, since Yacht Club Games split off from way forward, and since since Shovel Knight is so good, I was worried that what happened was all the good people left way forward. But it, it seems to not be the case. It seems like there's plenty of talent left. So we got it. We, we, we're going off to the west area. That's where that lady said there may or may not have been a way to Forest Town. So let's see. Well, it's 
These don't let me progress. These don't let me progress. But they're nice. Manuka Hoi. Sprint, what's up? How you doing? I think Twitch is glitching out. I'm not sure what modification you put on Hoi. But I'm sure it's pretty cute. Uh, bombs. Bombs? This is on Switch, right? Trying to decide where to start with Shantae. I, so far, I think this game is actually a fantastic place to start. If you know Metroidvania games, you can't go wrong with this one or Pirate's Curse. Both fantastic. Uh, Half Genie Hero, not a bad game, but it's not a Metroidvania game. Uh, that game was a Kickstarter game that I I personally spent a lot of money on. Uh, d d d d don't at me. It was fun, but it's more of just like a traditional platformer. It kind of plays just like Mega Man X, level based, and there are some Metroidvania elements to it, like you have to backtrack to other levels. But besides that, besides that, it's there's no like dungeon crawling or item get. Yeah, I solo funded it. Don't I I I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't think I did. Or else I'd be I'd have a lot less money than I assume I do. You know, speaking of which, I should probably check my bank account th uh, again then. This is on Switch. I I've heard uh, Common Rider say that he saw... He, he, he watched his friend playing the PC version of this. And... There are some issues. There are some issues with it. Um, looks like this dude is out of power. Like, apparently it crashes? Or stuff like that? One of the reasons I got this game on PC, uh, on, not on PC. Uh, it's using the same engine as their last game, Half Genie Hero. There were some issues when I played that on PC. Like, apparently, uh, it, I have a high refresh rate monitor. It's got like them fancy 144 hertz and everything. It makes the game run like twice as fast. It's silly, it could be like a super special speed run. But, uh, probably not the way you're supposed to play the game. Hot Squid! Nice! Yes! Pretty good! Like, a like any Metroidvania, the game lets you come back to old areas with new powers, and then you can- You can- you can go places you couldn't before, and it just feels good! Uh, 6.7 million chicken dollars! What- what- how- what's the exchange rate to US dollars? I need to know. That's- that's where- that's how I save all my money. I need to know if my, uh, my, my funds are increasing. You know what? Let me, let me, let me see if I need to buy any healing items. I've got plenty of healing items. I just need to remember to use them. I think I died once last stream. Oh, goodbye, Pokeball. What a waste. Uh, usually in these games, I buy those auto automatic potions. What's this? What a weird looking hatch. Is there no way to open it? Maybe not yet, unless there's a secret. Check out. Show me. Show me. Nothing. Show me absolutely nothing. Love it. <laughs> da da da. Uh, exchange rate. Uh, it's about ten dollars in U.S. dollars. Six point seven million chicken. Yeah, it sounds about right. Just enough to buy like a spicy chicken sandwich from Popeyes or something like that. Uh, is there a difficulty setting? You're bad at these kinds of games. Oh. They're not too bad. Uh, if you, like, grind for money, you can buy a bunch of, like, healing potions, and you can just spam those. When I, when I don't feel like thinking while I play this game, I kind of just do that. And let myself get hurt. Like, they're, they're, they're somewhat lenient in that regard. Can't dig yet. Chicken attack? Sure. Alright. Chante. Quick! Evade! Evade! Huh. Duck! Huh. No! Doesn't work! Doesn't work! Get out! Alright, well that was a failure. Ah, so this... This is what that lady was talking about. Nothing here, huh? Oops. I beg to differ. I don't know who that lady is that appears when I scan, but she's... she's pretty. Yeah! New area. Oh, this'll get... what? She's a music sniper! Talk about some deadly beats. <laughs> I like the frogs though. Look at look at how cute they are. I feel like why do they wear mascara? I feel like they might have been like 
unused designs for one of Shantae's transformations and they just made it into an enemy. I feel like it. Mermaids! Now that's a staple enemy. That's from Half Genie Hero. Also, Sprint Redeeming Hydrate. Thank you. Yeah, that's how you open the hatch with a chicken attack. Oops. Unfortunately, I was way far, way far away from it at that point. Maybe they all flew over to the hatch, are working on opening it right now. And by the time we make it back there, we'll see all the fruit of the chicken's effort, prying at it, poking at it with their beaks. And like the story of the woodpecker whittling away at the mountains for millions of years, they would have finally opened it. Also, this place is awesome. Look at this island paradise. Hello? Can I participate in the luau? Welcome to Tree Town, the hidden island village. The village hidden in the trees. We're getting ninjas here, apparently. I like lizards. What of it? I can be a lizard. You like me? It's important to know what you like. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. She, she's got a lizard on her right now. Can I, can I zoom in on that? Got like a Trico. Uh, lizard friend, are you okay? Oh, look, he's actually, he's got a little smile on. Oh, uh, he's, he's happy. Happy lizard. I like this game. I like this game a lot. You're hoping for the chickens to take over the snakes. And I think there was a miscommunication there. Chickens, very, very, very loyal followers, but you gotta be clear on what they're attacking or else they'll just attack everything. Or Link. Trico! Trico, Trico! The chief would like to see you. He's waiting inside. Did, did I anger him? I just barely got here. Mm. Whoa, an outsider. How'd you find our town? Probably this is the chief's place, but let me just explore a little bit. I like flowers and trees. Nice. This is Vera's room. It's hard to believe that she's really gone. How will Tree Town get by without its guardian genie? Oh, that was one of the half genies. She's the one that's native to here. All right, let's go check out the chief. Big dude. Oh, he looks strong. Who are you? How did you find our village? Oh, you are half genie. Same as my daughter, Vera, an Obst connoisseur. Thank you for the resub. Welcome back to the chicken coop and enjoy the emotes. How are you doing today? Nice game. Well, thank you. I made it myself. No, you didn't, Chief. Oh, 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 oh. fine. At least have me, let me have let me have my booming voice, my sweet Vera. Oh, his his daughter got kidnapped. She was taken away by those things. You have a lead on who took her, on who took the, all the genies. For years, my people have been forced to hide the things from down below. They fear the sunlight, but when the sun sets, they come to the surface. The Mole Men. <laughs> Thank you, Beard Man. He's Mr. Beard Man to you. They hide inside the ghostly fog. What, Mole Men zombies? Those who are taken, they never return. There's hope, sir. Sir, I have a rescue. I have already rescued one genie. With any luck, I'll be able to get your daughter before it's too late. Go, dance, and have fun. Cherish the safety of daylight. My heart is with Vera. <laughs> Sir, it's not too late. It's not too late to whip it. Whip it good. I ruined the dance parlor. Dance and have fun. Forget your troubles for a time. Dance parlor. Dance parlor. I mean, that's nice of them. But should I really be dancing at a time like this? Soul Sapphire, thanks for the lurk. Okay then, okay, okay. Now, if it's anything like the first game, the dance parlor was actually a place to get, actually a place to get money. Like you actually dance and people throw money at you. It's, it's, it's not as bad as it sounds. We keep the second city sealed up, always. We fear the things that live down there. So the, I guess the theme is every time you find a hatch down to the sunken city, it leads to a new labyrinth, a new area. I like how it's connected to the top. Seth modifies, thanks for the follow. You're loving his beard, he keeps it well trimmed. Honestly? Honestly. Eh. Uh, 
as a people. We take great, great pride in our dance skills. And we also take great pride in our accounting skills. We've created a mini game based on one of the two. Is it the accounting? I hope it's the accounting. <laughs> See, when you, when, you, when you take a look at this game, sometimes the men are more scantily clad than the women. All right. Squid, are, are, is this squid running the parlor? The dance parlor is open to all. Ready? Not ready, I need to talk to the squid. Hello? Is, is, the, is the squid a prize? I like that. I want I want that. Can I have it? Uh, so by the fine. Uh, hello. You wish I had as much Twitch Prime subs as you want. Uh, yeah, if there was some way to like get a higher tier of Amazon Prime or whatever and get more subs. Because I, I love I love supporting other streamers with my Twitch Prime sub, that's for sure. Yeah. You were gonna sub, but look where you are. Hey, hey, that's fine. I don't require people to support. Just just as long as you enjoy the show, you know? The dance parlor is open to all. Let's go. Here are the rules. When the music starts, the turbulent hip shaking begins. T t turbulent? Do I want to describe it as that? It makes it sound like it's destructive. Like, oh, but that's okay, because this is a seaplane. Strike a pose and see if you can hit mass shaped targets up above. Bigger masks mean bigger winnings. Show us what you've got. All right. I don't know if I still I don't know if I understand the game, but I'll I'll figure it out. <laughs> ben, thanks for the thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. <laughs> See Seth by the size? You, oh what? Oh. Is this a dance mini game? This is more like a Galaga? It's kind of a Galaga. Because I'm just like shooting stars. Alright, <laughs> this works. Ah, I got five shots, gotta make them count. No, oh, I missed. See, Seth modifies. You ended up reminding people that about Twitch Prime, and I didn't even have to have a bot reminder that goes. Did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to your favorite Twitch streamers for free? I know some people have that. I know some people like make it a joke to have that kind of message. I honestly forget about it too. Oh, thank you for the sub, Ben Burritos. Welcome to the chicken coop. Grab a nest, get comfy, and enjoy the dance. I'm dancing, I'm dancing. I'm going crazy. Got one left. Got a timing out. Yep. All clear. 25 bonus gems. Beautiful. You got great moves. Let's talk. Yellow Pikachu, what's up? Nice dance. <laughs> nice die, <No>, missed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm aware of people streamers who like viewer shame or whatever like I I'm not on twitch to make money I have a job like I can support myself I I'm just here to like have fun and if people have fun watching me have fun then that's more fun for everybody yeah glad you understand those moves you dance in such a weird and wonderful way wow thank weird I sense true hope in your heart please tell the chief you must worry no more Wow, that's all you needed to inspire change in the Chiefs. Can I have the squid? I need it. I want to squish it. Melt it down. Fine. Hey, there's like a workshop? Oh, there's another squid smith over here. Squid smith. That's not a word I usually, you know, have to say. My brain had to find it for a second. I only have two squids, so two more and we can get a new heart container. Mr. Chief Man. It is hopeless. I will never see my daughter Vera again. <laughs> you know, my favorite part about his beard is that mustache. It's like just two tubes coming off of his nose. Look at that. How does how does how does he get it like that? It's just it's just a big old macaroni noodle that he painted to match his beard and then just stuck it under his nose. My chief, this young lady has proven that she carries true hope in her heart. You know, if you were gonna go tell him himself, why didn't you just do that? There's a special joy to be found in her strange, wiggly movements. Wiggly. A joy that gives us hope for tomorrow. Wiggly turf! That transcends even strict content rating thresholds. But most of all, it gives us courage to face our fears. 
and speak in bold text, not to mention caps. I must go and tell the others. Smile, chief. Smile for your daughter. Uh, the voices do are pretty much you in real life. Ah, well, uh, if you're saying you enjoy my voice acting, thank you. I, I do it for fun, but you know, I, I, I try. I go all in. <laughs> she is right. I must not mourn my daughter. Especially if she's not dead. She's still alive. I can feel it deep in my heart. <laughs> Young woman, thank you for this gift of hope. Please, take this. You got useless object. No, that's suspiciously shaped like a key. That is a useless object. It was a gift to me from my own father. I do not like it. All right. It serves no purpose, but I believe that you will give it one. My heart goes with you. I want the game to jape me and say, like, it, it looks like a key. Shouldn't I try to use it somewhere? Like, no, it's useless. We're telling you right now. It's a useless object. Believe us. Like, why would you think it's anything else? Wiggly! Your hair is Simon Belmont. Whip it good. You know it. Shantae picks your interest. Never seen gameplay or played it, but it looks fun. Oh, I am a fan. I am a fan of the series. I showed this earlier, but, uh, just reminding people. Also, don't think I'm weird, but... Well, that's a model. Well, that's a model kit of like the the main, the main uh, antagonist. I've got I I've got some figures. I got some figures. Uh, the reason I have these is because they sell them over at Anime Expo, and I live in Los Angeles. So every year I'm like, you know what? I like this game series. I might as well pick up one of these kits. You have to build them yourself, like piece by piece, and glue them up. But they end up really nice, as long as you don't mess up. I have messed up when building those, but. I have made attempts to cover them up. You can barely tell that glue ended up getting everywhere and it, it's, it's not great. Either way, either way, I'm still proud of having made them. Please check out the items in our item shop. Feels like a YouTube video with that zoom in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. One of the reasons I buy games specifically for the Switch is because it has this little zoom feature. It's very handy for like live video editing. Welcome to the item shop, a place to peruse for things you can use. Ooh, okay, let's get at least one auto potion. Kind of acts like a fairy in Zelda. If you die, it revives you. Just just as a just as a a little insurance policy. I could get super attract, or I could try I could start getting some of these offensive items. Pike ball? Boomerang? Is this infinite? This is new to the Shantae series. I've never had that before. Have a good one. I'll try it. One button uses it. R, L. A. Oh. So it uses magic. I got it. Face this. Face a cow. I would hope I wouldn't have to face a cow. I like cows. They feed me hamburgers. What are we gonna do with this useless object? I don't know, bent burritos. Maybe if you put our heads together, we'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Said. I do not like it. This key. I mean, useless object. Okay, so the first probably obvious place to try it would be the uh, hatch. Ooh. The hatch down to the uh, underground city. Let's go see. So the underground city. Last time we established that's like... An ancient underground place. Whiff. Actually, I have boomerang now. Let's try it. Not very useful. Uh, uh. Uh, made by some sort of ancient civilization. And uh, every time we go down there, there's like secrets to be found. New abilities to be had. And I'm going to die. I'm going to try not to use this auto potion right away. Eat that Pokeball. Easy. Yeah. There's a zoom-in feature on the Switch. Yeah! Um, if you want to enable it, you have to go to the, like, the, um, the accessibility settings on the Switch. Huh? <laughs> and then you have to, like, enable it. It's called, like, zoom. It's very handy. It's meant for, like, oh, if you, if you, if your eyes aren't that good, you can read the text. But you can also just zoom in. And, in and appreciate the art. Shapes on this useless object match the markings on this hatch! 
use the useless object? Silly game, you can't use something that's useless. Why would you why would you ask me to do that? Let's try it. Here goes nothing! You used the useless object. Hammy, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm playing more Shantae, more half genie action. And you know I'm all for it. If you wished for a stream, then your wishes are coming true. Unfortunately, that is the limit of my chicken genie powers. So, you know, deal with it. Mossy biome. Aw, oh, dude, I love that part of Minecraft. This is... Honestly, it's, it's supposed to be moss, but it kind of just looks like the whole place is moldy. I don't like it. You know, you guys know what my first instinct just now was? It was to bring out Goombario and tattle the area. I've been playing too much Paper Mario, but you know, I'm okay with that. Oh, bats. Don't kill the bats or else Kira the Strange might get angry. Friend of mine, she likes bats as much as I like chickens. You know, it, what, what, what hurt me? What happened? What was that? All right, so we got electricity, Tesla coils? Something's falling from the sky. Something's hurting me. I, is it? I'm scared. Oh, crap, man. Hey, yeah. You won't get the best of me, sir. Hut. So that's actually a uh, enemy that's recurring in Shantae, I mentioned before. And it's sort of a test of like, how well you can control maneuvering around enemies as well as whipping and whipping while ducking. I, I will talk a lot about how the game designs of the series are awesome. Because they are, they are. You can tell that Way Forward puts a lot of effort into designing their games. But yeah. Bent Burritos, uh, you were asking which game to start with. If you want a simpler game to start with, I would recommend Half Genie Hero. Because uh, it's just a straight up, straight up platforming game. Let me, what am I missing? Why am I getting damaged when, oh, you know, actually. Is there something invisible? Oh, God. Oh, eyeballs. Those were there the whole time? I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good. Oh. Yucky. Uh, oh, now I need to... Maybe my instincts for Paper Mario were right. Instead of tattling everywhere, use the C dance on everything. All right, okay. So, staple of the series that you won't find in Half Genie Hero. This is a dungeon. This is a labyrinth, as they call it. They're like Zelda. Like Zelda dungeons. So there's puzzles, there's enemies, there's places to traverse. And uh, it teases your brain. Oh. Just enough, just enough. Just a secret thing over there. What's in here? Ah. Looks like I gotta get some sort of ground pound ability to get through here. Traditionally in the Shantae games, there has been an elephant transformation. But considering they replaced Monkey with a little Newt fella. L -l little Newt fella. I wonder what they're going to replace Elephant with. We Terraria now. Green caves and eyeballs. Unfortunately, without the procedural generation. Really reminding me of Meridia from Super Metroid. With those glass tubes. Uncle! Uncle! Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah? yeah? Who's that? Shante! What are you doing behind the wall? Well, I've been looking for you ever since you fell from sight. You aren't hurt, aren't you? Oh. Oh, I never even bothered to come back to talk to him after <laughs> after I fell down here. Must be worried sick. No, Uncle. I'm fine. Good. I have something for you. It might help you find those girls. There's an opening in the wall there. I'll... Oof. Oof. Pass it through. Handle. Looks like we got a handle on this situation. It's a valve. Uh, it releases games once every like 10 years. Half-Life Alex. That's a valve handle. Folks have been using them to solve water themed puzzles for years. Valve handle. It's tradition. 
writing in this game series very meta like often to the point where it shouldn't be funny but it's funny because it's lame and i love it <laughs> if you say so that valve handle probably operates some mechanism nearby thanks uncle sorry i'll bring it back later thank you we got a funny guy in here is it me god i hope it's me <laughs> huh. That dancing animation. I think that was made for Half Genie Hero, but they never really used it. Nice. Thank you for the joke. But they never. They, a lot of stuff clearly was unused for Half Genie Hero. Uh, let's see if there's any hidden areas up here. Probably not. One well, of those salamander guys. I don't like him. Why is he got. What is he? He's got like a little horn on his head. Secrets. Okay, I'm gonna say I usually don't like scanners in Metroidvania games. Because if the default use is just use it in every room, then it kind of just adds another step to exploring. So, uh, as well as things... I will be mentioning things I don't like about the game design, as well as things I do like. I know they're a staple of Metroidvania, so I don't blame them for putting it in. But it's one of those things that, like, if you don't do it right, sometimes isn't good. Alright, let's try, let's try going through this area. I can swim. Oh! Oh! This looks like a place for a handy-dandy useful valve handle. It's quick, at least. Uh, well, uh, uh, the, the main thing that's griping me about it is not just a button. I have to hold down the dance, wait for this to appear, then press left. Now, in the last game, there was an upgrade you could buy that sped up the dancing. Like, it sped it up to the point where instead of do, 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 dancing just went like boop, 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 boop. So maybe that's in this game. Hope it is. Like, it's not bad. It's not annoying. Like, I'm not complaining about it. But if I have to keep doing this, it could become a little bit annoying. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, you again. I see you. Crawfish Princess. My favorite Zelda game. Legend of Zelda Crawfish Princess. See, it's a good thing that it shows you pretty art every time you scan. Hey, you! No! No spikes. Won't have any of that. I'm not wearing the spike badge. Da -da -da. Would you like to save your progress? I sure would, Mr. Save Man. The Save Men. The unhailed champions of the Shantae games. Every Shantae game you save by talking to that old man. You never, he never really tells you what he's doing. If he's writing your adventure in a log, or magically saving the state of the world, it just is. I'm just hoping one of these days he doesn't become evil or something. Goku, what's up? Dog's having a bad day? Uh-oh. Is it because of the thunderstorms? I heard you were having them. Hope you're staying safe. Do whatever you can to help comfort her in these trying times. Yeah... I'm sorry. I, just, I hope you're okay, at least. Just, uh, hang in there. Yeah, how's your night been? Besides that, little save man is the narrator. I believe it. If there was a narrator to this game. Am I supposed to be doing that? He's actually me. An analog for the player. Giant hole in the wall. If this is a boss, this is, that'd be very early, for one. We got... Hello? Coral Mine. Oh, this is actually a labyrinth. I was just in an unidentified area earlier. Teaching moment. Teaching moment. They show you that these platforms, they fall out every once in a while on a timer. That's how you do it. That's game design, people. Like, it's one of those things that seem obvious. But you have to remember it. You have to remember to do that every once in a while when you're a game dev.
Because sometimes you get so ingrained oh, in making levels without really teaching the player that you forget that things that are obvious to you aren't obvious to people seeing things for the first time. Secret over here? You know? Doesn't seem to be it. Stay safe for the storms. Oh, bent burritos too? Stay, stay safe, guys. I live in California, so I can't say I experience those all too often, but... But, last time I experienced a real bad storm was when I was visiting family in the Philippines. It gets, like, super humid and rainy and thunderstorming at the same time over there, and it, it makes you feel like everything's ending. Like, imagine heavy rain pouring down at the same time it's, like, over 100 degrees. And thunder and, like, lizards crawling all over the place. Yeah. LaCroix falling from the sky. Oh, I'm sorry, is that what the rain is? You know it. Gem... Gem boys? Gem boys. They don't like dancing? Huh? Oh, they're bald. Ew. Bald. Bald. They look like sad, bald clowns. Your Krom Amiibo arrived. Congratulations! You gonna display it proudly? Put it in a nice display case? See a little key-shaped outline here. And a secret passageway? Hello? Ooh, nice. Monsoon season. Definitely getting that time of year. Them summery times. Uh, da 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 that does sound kind of sad, Fulzy Bear. The imagery right now out there is kind of scary, but just maintain hope. Things are going to work themselves out. Da, da, you did not like those gem enemies. I kind of don't like them either. For every enemy in this game that ends up being cute... Oh, I see, I know. Uh, okay, here's my theory. This is going to make molten metal pour from the top if I grab onto this. Maybe? Maybe not? Looks like I gotta prepare the mold. Alright. We'll make this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Go one to the right. But, mm, how can I make it pour all the way through? None of these is a straight piece. That's the problem. Maybe I can't do it yet. Down. Ah! My theory's correct. Can I move this? That would make everything so easy. Look at that. I like that. They show you the situation. And then you gotta figure it out. Without anybody telling you what it does. Alright, nobody tell me. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm clearly, like, overthinking this. If there was a way to make the metal go all the way to the left and then make it go to the right. Does this line up? Ah! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Wait, stop. Oh, okay. The top and the bottom are linked together. That's a problem. I was so close. We were so close to Venom. So given that, what I really want, what you really, really want, just figure it out, forehead. Wow, I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Is there a way to move the top and the bottom separately, I wonder? It looks like they're just linked together. All right, okay. So I can make this go left. Can I make it go? Can I make it just go? Process of elimination, let's go. Da, 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 da. Oh, oh, that works. Perfect. All I had to do was just look at it. Who would have guessed? You got key! Did they go for it? Well, <laughs> we figured it out. Nickelodeon figured it out. You guys remember that show? Got some rainy weather from the southern gulf. Hey. Sounds about right. Talking about the weather. Oh! Let's go! 
I knew Shantae was half genie. I didn't know she was also half Mega Man. You so much as breathe on a spike and you explode. Blows up! Alright, I remember where a locked door is. I'm trying to get better at that. My eternal problem. Whenever I get a key, I'm like, alright, let's explore some more. Where do I go? Oh, look, I just, all I had to do was find the door I saw before. I feel bad for these guys. I exploded. Very volatile. Maybe it's because of my uh, genetic makeup. Uh, every atom of Shantae's body is hanging on by a thread, and it's like unstable. It's like nuclear explosions, unstable elements. That guy melted. Why is this dungeon so sad? I'm killing everything. Just one, just one little, just one little poke, and you upset the nuclear balance. Explosions! You keep all the half genies in a room. If one of them explodes, they all just create this giant explosion. Scan. Okay. Would that have worked even if I didn't have scan? I wonder. Like, was that a fake spike wall this whole time? Check it out! Using her half Mega Man heritage for good use. Able to stand on platforms with the tippy toes of her feet. Love it. Do I feel bad because the sad clowns are ugly? I don't feel sad because they're ugly. I feel sad because they're bald and they don't seem to be happy about it. So, you know, it's mostly empathetical. It's mostly empathy. If it wasn't for the fact- if they loved being bald, then I'd be all for it. You know, you gotta read the situation sometimes. She's so happy, she explodes in the glitter! Maybe she likes it. Besides the whole non-existing part, you know. Alright, let's go. Hello? What am I fighting? Wait a minute! I see a chain up here. I see, I see the plan. Let me see if I can grab onto the chain and... <laughs> 999 damage. Easy. Hey, dumb dumb, don't stand there. <laughs> Alternate ways to defeat enemies. Very nice part of game design right there. Like I could have just fought them. I fought one before. Or, you know, shortcut. He's just dead. Everything in this entire dungeon dies in such a gruesome way. They either melt, they explode, they internally combust, they lose their hair. Just not great. All right, all right, all right. I gotta tell myself, what did I learn from this room? I got a key. Now I gotta go find a locked door. Check the map. Do I know of any locked doors? Nope, gotta explore. Nice penguin. Mini boss time. <laughs> it turns out, I am the mini boss. Why do I hear boss music? Honestly, the why do I hear boss music meme? One of my favorite current video game kind of memes. To make the main character so powerful. Oh, here's the locked door. Let's explore to the left first. To see if... I need a key for anywhere over here. Can tuna. Nice. I got fish in a can. You big fish. Another key. Oh. Sweet. But nowhere else to go because of all the dirt. So very, very, very big hint that we're going to see the whatever the digging ability is very soon. So I keep mentioning this YouTube series. And I will continue to mention it anytime I play any Zelda-like game. Boss Keys by Mark Brown, Game Maker's Toolkit. He's got this system for mapping out Zelda dungeons in a graphical manner. Like, oh, this dungeon, sure, it has a map that's three-dimensional, but you can boil it down to go to this path, get the key. Go to that path, open the locked door. Go to that path, get the item. Go to this path, use the dungeon item on this enemy, this boss. 
And he noticed a trend where later Zelda games kept getting more and more linear, where you never really had more than one key at any given time. So right now, when I noticed I had two keys, that immediately broke that that trend. It's it's not a Zelda game, but it's good to see that this game doesn't follow that. Like, it actually lets you explore and get things out of order. And that's nice. That's just so nice. So the bottom does not link to the top for this one. All right, okay. I think if I move this to the right, I'm fine. Yeah, first try. Easy. You know what these puzzles are? You know what these puzzles are? I am running out of magic, that's true. But actually, that actually is stopping me from scanning every room. And... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Another thing I don't like about the scan. If it requires some sort of resource, but you're encouraged to use it every room. Yeah, I can't even use it. I don't have enough. Okay, you know what this puzzle is? It's straight up ripped out from another way forward game. Hold on. Mighty Switch Force 2. Take a look at this game. It's a game about a firefighter who rescues uh, these girls from burning buildings and switches switches the world. I need, I need to find a picture that actually looks like what I'm talking about. Uh, here's one. Mighty Switch Force. So, look at this. Yep. So you got these blocks, and she's equipped with this little fire hose, and it shoots water. Uh, I need some sort of cursor here. I will use... I will use Shantae herself. She shoots the water into the little into the little blocks, and they travel through, like, on the path. Kind of like that game, The Incredible Machine. And then, like, you also rescue, like, ugly babies. Like, actually, right here. This, if I remember correctly, this is called an ugly space baby. Or a USB. That is, that's actually what they're called in the game. Like, the point of the game is you solve puzzles, you put out fires by shooting all the water. It's very fun. It's a very fun game. Check it out. I will always shill this company. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I will always shill way forward. I need to reset Shantae. She's not centered anymore. There you go. I'm serious, though. Look it up. Ugly Space Babies. Mighty number nine. Heck no. Sadly enough. Yeah, the thing about Mighty number nine, uh, it was a Kickstarter at the same time as the last Shantae game, Half Genie Hero. So there's like art. There's art of Shantae and Beck from Mighty number nine high-fiving. Uh, I bet she wants to wash her hands after that. There's some Zeldas where you have to have multiple keys at once. Goku, Goku, you did not listen to the whole rant there. He's saying that modern Zelda games have started to trend towards you only ever having one key at a time. Older Zelda games used to let you do that. Used to let you explore more, but as the series goes on, it gets more and more linear. Uh, he's a pirate. That's the model I didn't build yet. Risky boots. It's her! Even Ping Pals? Even Ping Pals! That's also an awesome game. Aximin, what's up, Thomas? So... You weren't behind the abductions after all! What tipped you off? Then it must have been that plant thing I saw before! I don't think the plant thing was smart enough. I think it's just a lackey. But what in the world was it? And where are the others? <laughs> are you asking Risky Boots, the queen of the seven seas, for help? <laughs> the true rulers of the island are not the land lovers up above, but rather the sirens that dwell down below. Sirens? Sirens. Wee woo! Poor Shantae. Seven in all. Shantae and the seven sirens. Didn't, didn't you see the title of the game? Five that rule over their domains. One wretched runaway, and the one of them of whom they will not speak. Way forward, please don't pull a thing where you reveal that Risky Boots is a former siren or something. If you wish to save your friends, you must destroy the seven sirens. But first, you will have to get past me. 
Do we believe her? I don't believe her. I don't believe her. I know what Ping Pals is. I've told people about Ping Pals. Even Ping Pals, I will shill. That was back in the DS era. WayForward made a game that was basically PictoChat, but like fancier. And you know what? They put their all they put their whole into it. They put their whole effort into it. And I I respect that. I respect that a lot. Everything that WayForward does, they do it with heart and conviction. And that's why I like the company so much. Alright, 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 My my You're persistent. Yep. My one strategy when fighting Mega Man bosses. Just kill them before they kill you. You didn't worry. I didn't come to this island to capture your friends. Those sirens can do whatever they want with them. I'm after the real treasure. The friends we made along the way? Ta-ta! Goodbye. Goodbye, not Proto Man. Real treasure? What in the world is she talking about? Yeah. Uh, Thomas is not doing too much. Just awake a bit late. D did you just wake up now? It is 9 p.m. where I am. Hey! Rescuing another si uh, another genie, baby! In the magical healing water. Nope. You wanted to drop in since you're not quite in bed yet. Oh, you're saying you've stayed up a bit late. Well, what? please, by all means, get some rest. You deserve it. Little lizard reminds you of Wonder Boy and the Dragon Curse? You know, actually... I wonder, because, okay. Wonder Boy, uh, remake. That, that, that remake that's been coming out, that that came out recently. Um, that's not made by WayForward, but I always did think that the remake is pretty similar. I wonder if anybody from WayForward worked on it. I can't really tell. I'm looking at the wiki, nothing really stands out. Vera! Are you alright? Uh... Eh? Snap out of it! Uh huh? What? Oh my! Where am I? Was I asleep? Hold on, I'll get you out of there! Uh, Seems like this prison was designed to put you under! How do you feel? Huh. Would noxious gas? A bit disoriented, but fine otherwise. Thanks much, Bunches, for coming to my rescue. Here, I have something for you. Gastro drill- gas- gastro? Like a gastro pub? Yes. I turn to a snail? That is a magical fusion coin. It will allow you to transform instantly into a new form. This one bears the mark of a gastro drill. Gastro drill? Yeah, gastro drill. Gastro drills are burrowing creatures who move through the dirt. Using its abilities, you may able to lo you may be able to locate the source of evil in this place, or maybe find some like fossils or something. Show them the blathers, get them all assessed and everything. Leave it to me. I promise to do my very best. Press against a soft surface with L to drill. Give it a shot. A lot of instants. So like I was saying last time. They're doing a lot more. Whoa. whoa. Okay. Look at me. I'm a little snaily snail. She drill, baby, drill. I mine is the drill that shall pierce the heavens. Whoa. She's zooming. <laughs> I love it. I'm assuming those mines are bad. Oh, they chase. All right, let's get out of here. Get the hell out of Dodge. Oh, we're back here too. Very nice. Very nice. Evil. Oh, she's gone. I'm sorry. I know Risky Boots is a queen. I promise, just for you, Ben Burritos, I'm gonna go build that Risky Boots figurine sometime soon. Probably not this week though, but soon. And he has two copies of Pink Pals. Did, did, did you buy that? Like, I forget. Did you buy that last time I played the Shantae game? No, you said you had it when it came out, right? Did you buy two copies just to send stuff to the other copy? I think that's what you said. Giga! Doriru! Breaker! Row, row, fight the power! Touch the untouchable, see the unseeable! Row, row, fight the power! You got the map. What a silly power. 
pretty silly. But you know, useful. Shantae is nothing if not practical. Hey, stop it. Yeah. Even when he's in stun, he still gets... He still has a hitbox on him. I do not have a key. Alright, I'm gonna have to see where I'm able to go from here. Uh, I can go up, I think. Straight up to left and up. Yeah, that's probably blocked off by drills that I can access now. But drill, drill dirt. Do I have robots to melt? There were two up there. Not really necessary to beat that area, but handy. Tactical clam, redeem your hydrate. What's up, Marvin? Ah, uh, yes. I'm able to su subsist for at least five more seconds. Anything after that, I can't guarantee. So, check out this boy. He's very fancy. He's like a clown. He's like a mad clown. But now, he's like a sad clown. Notice how... After the gems get shaved off of him, he, he gets, like, more clown-like. Like the mouth and everything. Just notice that. Hey, uh... Can I draw something? Uh... It's a dog. Everyone applaud. Alright, this just brings me back to where I was. But it is a shortcut. There seems to be a room down... All the way down to the left. I can't go there because of the locked door, I think. No, 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 there's another room. Evil clown. <laughs> oh, what's the difference? You feel like that's implied. It comes with the territory. If anything, when you see a clown that's good, you have to specify it's a good clown. How do you know if a clown is good? I'll let you know when I find out. So the top row cannot physically go all the way to the left, so it's got to be this one. Right here. Easy. Narrowing it down. What's so hard about this one? This one's the easiest puzzle. Let's go. You feel like a clown is neutral at best, never good. Look, man. You're right. But, you know, if any clowns are looking in the shadows, if any clowns are watching right now, I, I don't want to offend them. I, I try to I try to be inclusive on the stream. Cosmit! Speaking of clowns, I am one! Yeah! Cosmit, what is up? How you doing? Can I get a shout out for Cosmit to Cupcakes? What's up, Cosmit? How you doing? Hello, hello. Yeah! I'm so glad I was able to catch one of your streams. It went great! Thank you for the sub. Welcome to the chicken coop. Grab a nest and get comfy and enjoy the emotes. Let me give you that shout out. So glad I was able to catch one of your streams finally. He was playing Hyper Light Drifter! A uh, fantastic little indie game that I honestly should stream at some point i was thinking about it when i was back when i back when i just started streaming that game was relatively newer uh it's sort of like forgive the comparison but kind of like dark souls mixed with a zelda like game about this uh drifter who's traveling through the world slashing up stuff and you're just exploring little dungeon areas I love it. Very atmospheric. There's zero text in the game, by the way. You just learn the story through cutscenes and just context of what's going on around you. Very nice game. Very nice game. It also has a limited edition that comes on a Super Nintendo cart. I am kicking myself for not buying it when it was still being sold. It was like $65. Now it goes for like $150. So welcome on in, everybody from the raid. How are you? Uh, hi, Dengeek. Hello, hello. The cos crew has landed, seeking sanctuary and good content. I can promise one of those, and it's the sanctuary. Yeah, if you don't know me, if you're new, uh, my name is Chris. I usually play Nintendo games and RPGs. Games that, you know, remind me of my nostalgic childhood or allow me to do silly voice acting. This game has a little bit of that. Right now, we're in a Zelda-style dungeon. Need to find a key. I'm willing to bet I have to go all the way up right up right up top right corner basically because that's the only place i have not explored yet yeah guys go follow cosmic pretty cool very energetic very fun to watch you would agree less dark souls intense but definitely unforgiving requires to respect enemies that's that's like the first thing i kind of recognized about it when i played it way back when 
Like, as long as you are aware of your environment, you won't take too much damage. But make too many mistakes, and you will just immediately die. Like, it's not super easy to heal in that game. Yeah. Don't know about you, but I'm looking at good content right now. Well, hmm. Man, I wish I was watching the stream instead of playing it. How about that? Yeah. But in all seriousness, uh, this is Shantae and the Seven Sirens' newest game in the series. Uh, Metroidvania series that has been around since 2002. And uh, I just like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's been around for a while. They are made by this modest little company called Way Forward, and you may have heard of some of the games they've made. Uh, mostly indie titles, unlike the DSi and the 3DS. And uh, the last game actually came out on multiple systems, like PC and PS4 and everything. Half Genie Hero and uh, Pirate's Curse. Those games are pretty good. Yellow Pikachu is fabulous. That's the good content we're talking about. Right there, in the chat, Yellow Pikachu. And also Cosmic. Da, 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 da. Da, that's one of the interesting mechanics. When you heal, you get hit. Your full heal gets interrupted. It is it is definitely, like, something you have to manage. It isn't just, like, a free action. Hmm. I wonder. I'm betting one of these walls are fake. Or there's a platform. Easy peasy. There you go. Very nice. But... I am out of leads. I am actually out of leads. I've been to every room. Why do I not have a key? I'm missing one. Uh-oh. Let's keep going around. Maybe one's hidden in the dirt somewhere? Let me look around. Make sure I'm not missing anything. You can vouch for Yellow Pikachu's fabulousness. That Yellow Pikachu, I see them everywhere. There's one room I didn't visit? Oh, where? Oh, actually, yeah, I barely see it. Thank you, Goku, you're right. All the way on the top left. That's gotta be it. Thank you. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna blame my colorblindness. But I am gonna blame my colorblindness. No, it's not because it's a color I can't see or anything. I'm just blind. Seems like it. I think you guys knew that already. Let's go. Oh yeah. Like I was saying, I'm just blind. This is the second dungeon of the game. Uh, so far, the design is living up to the previous games. I think. I say it's a Metroidvania, but it's a little bit Metroidvania, a little bit Zelda even. It's still wild to me that we still call an entire genre an amalgamation of two games. This has got to be a key. Got it. Easy. Metroid and Castlevania, like, like the genre doesn't stand on its own. Because there are definitely a lot of games in this genre that doesn't quite fit a Metroid or Castlevania style. And I think this is one of them that pushes the boundaries. Like one part Metroidvania, another part Zelda. I've always mentioned like, had Zelda 2 been more critically acclaimed, the Zelda series would definitely have gone down that route. When you think about it, back when the game, the only games in the Zelda series were Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, we could have just gone down in an entire alternate universe timeline where more Zelda games were like Zelda 2, just side-scrolling dungeon platformers. But yeah, it would be, it would have been interesting. Yep. You can see a little bit of Zelda 2 for sure. And every time it comes up, I had always have to mention, if anybody would make a Zelda 2 remake, it would be way forward. What are the squid hearts on the right? Ooh. Well, this is a boss. Squid hearts, they're basically the Zelda heart containers. If you get four, you can actually take them to a blacksmith, and she will smash them with a hammer, and you get another heart container. Yay. Makes you feel bad. 
Uh, the ones on the right tell you that there are three in this dungeon, and I got all of them. So let's go. Boss time, baby. Rest in peace, squid friends. Eh? Wait a minute! That's a person! Who are you working for? Where did you get such a cool robot? I kinda wanna make a Gund Gundam of that. I think I can. I think I know exactly what kits to make. Yeah! Uh, master Grade Ball, uh, combine that with a High Gog. Oh, I know exactly how to make that out of Gundam parts. Coral Siren, drills to the gills! Oh, oh. Drill, baby, drill. What you doing? I see. I made a mistake. All right, okay. We got to get under her. Boop. Okay, 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 okay. You bullet hell now. What are you doing? Huh? Right as she jumps. Whack it! You can drill out from under her. Where are you gonna jump? Where are you gonna jump? You gotta also watch out for that drill attack. <laughs> My brain! Focus, focus! You wanna jump again? There you go. That didn't quite work as well as I hoped. Alright, let me figure out a strategy for this. I'm gonna do a little bit of Heelys. You think if Zelda 2 were well received, it would have had more lasting changes on the SNES and Game Boy Zeldas? But the N64 and 3D ones would be not as changed. They, they did kind of reinvent the wheel there. Huh? How did I not get damaged? Okay, I would like to see if there's a way to attack her while she's in the background, or when she's charging, disrupt the charge and stun her for a little bit. Alright, so drilling under there actually doesn't seem to be a great idea. Eat a Pokeball. I wonder then, what's the point of the drill areas? Can I just wait out the bombs? No, I cannot! All right, boss. What am I not understanding about you? I think I, I do think there will be some influences. Maybe that vent on the top is like a button. What if I hit that while she's charging? Wait a minute. Maybe it'll it, maybe it'll stun the robot. Dodge the charge move. Like I'm assuming if I dodge it. Just nothing will really happen. I'll just avoid taking damage. I would actually be a little disappointed if dodging the move entirely was how you get it to be stunned, because that doesn't make sense to me. Like, I... It could just be that you dodge the enemy and attack it when it's vulnerable. That's not usually how the bosses in these games are designed. Like, there's usually something active you have to do. Like, the last boss, we had to move the plant lady into the sunlight, which would make her, like, distracted for a little bit. And then we could just wail on her. Lever refills the dirt. Lever? What do you mean, lever? Definitely refilling the dirt. It's got it. Oh wait, maybe when she charges, I gotta come out from under. Let's try it. Hi up. That does not work. I mm, maybe I timed it wrong. That seems like it would work because she's got a glass window on the front. I've got a drill, and when she charges, the glass window faces the da faces the down. Here too. Like, she crouches, and then the glass window faces down. I think I, that's gotta be it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Eat the ham. Eat the pineapple. Mmm. Alright. 
I, I guess I'll just dodge an attack then. That's disappointing me a little bit. The bosses are usually funner than that. Drill out of the area where she's going to jump. Yeah, that's what I've been. That's what I was trying earlier. But when she lands, I get hurt. So what is the point of the drill? <sighs> but don't stay. You can pop out before she lands, or after she lands. This boss makes you go, hmm? Me too, because he's usually better designed than that. Yeah, no, hmm. Maybe I'm, there's no, there's no attack I can do out of here, other than just go up. Da 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 Where's Syndrome? This boss is obviously an Omni Drone. Alright, let's just dodge the attack. Okay. I didn't take damage. I guess that's the reason for the, the drill spots. Just to let you dodge the, the drill attack. The, the, the charge attack. A little bit disappointed. A little bit. Because I know they're better than this. Drill out all three and leave before she lands? Maybe. Oh, maybe if I dig out the entire area, she'll get stuck in the hole? I wonder. Maybe that's it. There might be a stun from landing not on the sand. Entirely possible. Alright, if nothing else, I'm just gonna... Oh, I can't avoid damage there. Wait. Oh, yeah! There you go! I knew it! Yeah! Absolutely. They designed their bosses like that. They're like, there has to be a way to stun them. Figured it out. Only took a couple of cycles. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, I'm just a little, I'm just vindicated at this point that there is some way to stun the enemy for a little bit. Like, it's not huge, and I clearly don't need it to beat the boss, but it, there is a way. All right, have fun. Boom. Thank you. You helped. You did! You did! We did it! We all did it together! Couple cycles, a ton of food. I got food to spare. It's fine. She's half genie, it's magic. She doesn't have to worry about the calorie intake. Do you know how many calories an entire Pokeball has? Not that much, because it's mostly just from the rice. Fish, very healthy. Yep, big fish! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Could have been, uh, how would I change that boss? Maybe if you had a little bit more, more time before she, between when she jumps and then when she lands. Because it, it would give you like the signal like, am I supposed to do something before she lands? Why does it take so long? Something like that. Boy, you were spot on about that drill magic. I never knew I could transform like that. <laughs> Harmony says that when we work together, we can do anything. Pokeball? Pokeball. Hey, that's just what Plink said. And every character in anime ever. Plink, that's, that's Bubbles' name. Is she? She's safe, back in Arena Town. Thank goodness for that. What about Harmony and the others? I, well, it's okay. We'll find them. I only wish I had the help of my lucky amulet. What? Wish granted. What? I used to wear it around my neck. Did she have it in the beginning of the game? But once while I was swimming, a big wave came in. That was the end of that. Sounds pretty unlucky to me. If I had that lucky amulet, I could help you find the others. If you find it, bring it to me in Tree Town. It's all up to you now. Good luck. I'm betting. Gonna have to find that. All right. Wait a minute. That was a Tinkerbat. 
That little shadow dude? Yeah, that's one of Risky Boots' henchmen. Why was he digging? Maybe there's something secret down here? Doesn't seem like it. A Poke Bowl, this. Poke Bowl, well-prepared food that restores a good amount of health. If, you don't, if you've never seen a Poke Bowl before, then you probably just don't live in California. This is that new, this is actually one of the newest like food crazes. Um, it's like you take sashimi, but you kind of mass produce it and you kind of sell it subway style where you, you go down the line, you say like, I would like a base of rice please and then add salmon and then add tuna. And then you just have this bowl of fish. And you know, I, I'm, I, I, like, I like sushi. So good enough for me. It is nowhere near as high quality as actual sushi or sashimi, but it is a cheap -er alternative. You will you will find it very associated with California, but it was invented in Hawaii actually uh, by Japanese fishermen, which is why it's like sushi-ish. But uh, they would basically just like while they're on the boat, they were hungry, they just had some fresh fish lying around. They just prepare it right there, uh, put it on some rice, and you just, you just eat it with a little bit of seasoning. Easy, very good, very delicious. Uh, you call it sushi in a bowl instead of a roll. I mean, it basically is. Ah, very big, one pound fish. You took way too long to find the pound symbol. Honestly, when there are foreign keys that I need to type, I just copy it from somewhere on the internet. <laughs> All right, so I wonder, I don't have the ability to swim, really. I can float, but now that I have the ability to dig, I should be able to use that to get places. It invaded the East Coast. Oh, it's over there too. There's a poke place near Thomas's apartment in Jersey. Definitely East Coast too. It's invading. It's taking over. I, I actually hope, are, are you? Are you Michael J. Fox's character from Atlantis? Kinda look like it. Whoa! I didn't expect to see other people down here. I am a scientist from the Metalfish. Right now I'm testing his theory. You see, Goku, thanks for the host. When a mermaid's days come to an end, its shells fall to the ocean floor. Over time, the shells sink into the seabed to become fossils. Do mermaids wear shells taken from other creatures? Our shell's part of a mermaid exoskeleton. They're from birth. I, for one, believe in the latter. In Atlantis, if you can find me six mermaid shells, I will have the data I need to prove my very important theory. You'll find mermaid shells in the deepest part of the ocean sands. I'll mark the locations on your map. Sir, did it look like I was interested in that? But, okay, thanks for the info. Ooh, looks like we're on a fetch quest. Ah, yes, my favorite part of Metroidvania's. Eh. You don't like those weird food crazes invading your coastline. It is very convenient. Like when the alternative, if you want that sushi fix, like honestly, sushi is my favorite food. I would eat it more if I didn't get mercury poisoning from it. I never have, and I don't in ever intend to. But um, I would definitely eat it more. So when you can pay like ten dollars for a poke bowl just a little i'm just doing a little bit of backtracking to see if there's any areas i can reach now with my newfound crab mollusk powers gastro drill um well the ult when you can buy a ten dollar poke bowl versus like one ten dollar roll of sushi i'd rather get the entire bowl of food because at least i can justify be that being a meal now bent burritos want sushi now you know my daily every time existence you don't think they made it midwest yet granted you haven't really gone outside since you've been back in ohio ah fair yeah i, I think it's like starting in coastal cities and spreading inward because understandably it's 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 cheaper in coastal cities ah i can go here now yeah 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 big fish yep yep you know, before I go too far down, I could head back to the town and go get another heart container. I think I will. Yeah, oh yeah, we did, we finished that dungeon really fast. It's amazing how fast I can go through games when I'm not, when there's no dialogue to read. 
There we go. Goku wants regular Subway. I mean, I would like a sandwich place. Probably not Subway. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm i lucky that there are sandwich places around me that are Subway-like, but, you know, way better. Weren't they making fake mermaids last time? In the last game, there was a chapter where they make fake mermaids. Basically, they were kidnapping uh, young women and then just attaching fish to them. And then they were just selling them as mermaids. There was like a, a person like making a whole factory of them. And we had to stop that operation because it was cruel and very terrible. Should be able to get through here now. There you go. I think I can make two heart containers? Let's see. I think I have six. That's only enough to make one and a half. Yeah, one and a half. Lanking one and a half. Jero, jero. Give you a 12 inch meatball sub any day. Meatball subs, my favorite. Uh, bed burritos is off the bed. Have a good night. Bent burritos, thank you for coming on by. Let me check if I can jump on these even if they're invisible. Nope. Thank you for coming on by, Bent. Hope you enjoyed. And if you ever start playing the Shantae game, you bet. You bet I would love to see it. I love seeing more and more people get into the series because it's actually really well made. Ultimate cheesy meatball. Oh? Like with all the mozzarella? Mozzarella la la la, pizza mozzarella. I'm not just singing random Italian song. I, I, I'm singing a song from Jojo Part 7. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a weeb. If we only we could go back to $5 foot longs. Honestly, that campaign just hurt Subway so much. One Subway, one Subway. Because w they knew that the moment that that cost was no longer sustainable. Oh, maybe Vera's back here. Oh, look at him, he's grooving! Now that he's got his daughter back, although he's doing it while sitting, but the way that he's floating above his chair kind of just makes it look like he's squatting in front of it and dancing while squatting. Honestly, probably a really good workout for your glutes. Uh, Subway had to have known that once the costs were no longer sustainable, that they'd have to get rid of the $5 footlong deal, and then they would come under fire for, nev for not having it anymore. And sure enough, yes. Uh, da, 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 da. They're really scraping the bottle in the barrel for new d ultimate cheesy meatball. They're scraping the bottle in the barrel for new Danganronpa characters. Yes. Uh, my name is Mario Bolognese. I'm the ultimate cheesy meatball. I am forever grateful to you for returning my daughter. Thank you. You're welcome. The money, you know, ain't too bad neither. Ooh, I am so rich. I can buy everything I want for the store right now. <laughs> Danganronpa fan games. I need to look at if there's any more Danganronpa fan projects that I could maybe audition for. I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. You want some Jack Daniels sauce from TGI Fridays on a burger? I've never tried that. I actually don't know where the nearest TGI Friday is. Mm hmm? Hmm? You're not sponsored by TGI Fridays, are you? Da 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 da! The soundtrack is a remix of old Konami. Soundtrack of what? Sorry, the, 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 the conversation topic got away from me. You're back! As you can imagine, my father was overjoyed to see me. I honestly never seen him so happy. Unfortunately, there's still no sign of my lucky amulet. If only I had it back, I could help you rescue the others. Mm. A1 is alright sometimes. I do like A1. But, uh, since I've come to LA, I realized that I can buy a steak not medium rare. Because when I, when I was a kid with my parents, every time we went to a restaurant that had steak, they would always order well done, because it's like, oh, it's not fully cooked, you could get sick. Yeah, no. I always wondered why people like on TV would order anything but. That's because the steak still has flavor when it's not well done. And yeah, I, I like medium rare now. Uh, depends, it depends on the steak, but I'll, I'll put barbecue sauce on it if it's still not good after being medium rare. 
Squid Smith, at your service. I take adorable little heart squids and melt them down to make more health for you. Let's go. Love this soundtrack for this room. Reminds me of Banjo Kazooie. Nice. Now let's go back down to that area. Area with the dig spots. The soundtrack of this game. What? This this game is a sound is a remix of old Konami? Is it? Do you mean inspired or straight up Konami? Because I don't think they'd have the rights to use actual Konami music. If you're talking about just like the instruments, then I can see it because it's very 8-bit uh, style. Oh, uh, hey, how's the rescue going? Hello. Uh, you should see the snack options in my guest room. This bag of corn cob nut snacks tastes like something your uncle dug up. I came here to find a seaside bending beast. But so far, zip. I'd do anything for a slice of Melba toast. Alright, keep that in mind. That's something that Shantae games kind of do. They just present you with characters that want things. So you have to remember to come back when you see it. Uh, let's go. Carlos, being his broadcast. What's up? Dance. Dance for me, baby. Look at her go. She's right there. Right there. I'm doing it. I'm dancing. How you doing? Hope you're well. We just finished the second dungeon of Shantae, Seven Sirens, and we're on to the third. Now that um, the beginning of the game is out of the way, we are we're progressing faster than ever. Still not, you know, fast, because I don't go through games that fast. But we going. We going, baby. So we've been meeting up with Risky Boots every now and then, uh, doing Proto Man style repeat fights. I'm down with that. But what's... I've noticed that the overworld just has more of her lackeys now. So I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they're highlighting important stuff or if they're just more obstacles. Yes or no, have I heard the overworld music for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES? I have not. Are you saying one of the songs reminds you of it? I'd like to hear it if I could get a link. Maybe. Because that could be something to bring up. This uh, this game, the composer is not the usual one. They they hired someone new. So, if you're saying one of these songs is straight up just like one of the old Konami songs remade, then you could. I I don't want to you know. I don't want to bring up any controversy, but it could be stolen. A bit weird. Maybe it's just reminiscent of it. Oops. Yeah, I, I disabled links. Let me give you permission. You can post that link just in a sec. Permit. I have to get used to this. I need mods. Yeah, there you go. Blue crab. If we were following Zelda rules, blue crabs would be stronger. Scanning. Scanning. Alright. Melba toast, huh? Oven toasted stale bread doesn't strike you as avant-garde cuisine, but okay. Bolo, he's a simple man. He's a simple man. <laughs> you know. Alright, let's listen to this. Oh. Ooh. Ah. I mean, it it does feel like the same kind of groove as this game. Like, look at her dance into it. It fits her dancing. But I I don't think I've heard any song that straight up has this tune. Dun 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 dun. I'm grooving it. I like it. Konami, Capcom back in the day had excellent music for their uh, licensed video games. Which is kind of silly, because they... The songs they made sometimes felt like they had nothing to do with the property they encompass. They're building something. What are they building? What are they bopping? They got hammers.
but I love that they go so hard. Like, imagine if the DuckTales video game didn't go so hard with the moon theme. So iconic. Am I trying to kill Hammy? If links give you life force, then I am sorry for uh, your unfortunate biology. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find another way to subsist. Maybe try uh, Poke Bowls. Sub sandwiches, maybe. I'm a newt. She turned me into a newt! A newt? I got better. Da, da, da. Amazon and mines were excellent as well. Definitely, you can tell that a lot of that music was from the Mega Man composers. I think... I think the moon theme was composed by the woman who got later hired to make some of the songs for Shovel Knight? Let me check that. I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to be like false news over here. Let me see. Duck Tales. Woohoo. Moon theme composer. Every day they're out there making DuckTales. Hiroshige Tonomura. So I don't think that's the person. Uh, but I will look up what else they've done. Definitely a Mega Man gamer too. Did the music for... Just DuckTales? Really? And 1943 Kai. Whatever that is. So never any Mega Man games, just a bunch of Japanese games. I am so surprised. He's good. 1943 Kai, Pro Yaku, Doka Ben, Destiny of an Emperor, and Marusa no Ona. Never heard of them. So all the music made by the same guy. Heck yeah. Da -da 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 the guy who did the music for Hat in Time did an epic remix of the moon theme. Like just on YouTube? Definitely wasn't the guy who did the remixes for the way forward way forward by the way That's another game that this company made. They made the remake of the DuckTales game. This just came full circle Makers of this game they were the ones who made that remake that came out not too long ago uh, The composer for that game was the usual Shantae one uh, Jake Kaufman vert So there you go. There's your there's your trivia for the day. If your career peaked with DuckTales, you can retire after that. Axiom, I think that guy took your advice like... 20 years before you thought it up. 30 years before you thought it up. Oh gosh, the 80s were like 30 years ago. Definitely. How, how, did, how did Capcom just keep finding these excellent chiptune artists? Let's see, before I go too far, I want to check out what's going on with the left side over here. Yellow Pikachu, what's with that look? Don't be angry, Bulbasaur. Belba. Pie stare. Oh, just staring. What's wrong? You, you hungry? You want you want some food? Could give you some sushi. I got uh I got some mm, I don't have pineapple. I got some pulled pork sandwiches for you. And salmon. This is this is all kind of just Hawaiian food, isn't it? Either seafood or pulled pork. Grilled pineapple. I see they're going with the island theme. Yo, know, what's this? No, open the chest. Don't boomerang. More nuggies. Man. Sometimes when I eat chicken. Yes, I do. I'm sorry, I am when I eat. I just think how many chickens were involved in making the meal. Like, say you eat a bucket of chicken wings. If you eat six wings, that's at least three chickens. Two wings each. And you know, I'm thankful for their sacrifice. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome, Yellow Pikachu. As always. Nice, Joe Swanson. Uh, speaking of video game composers, actually, and Family Guy. Yes, there is even a connection there. Uh, the composer of the Jet Set Radio series, Hideki Naganuma. 
if you I, I follow him on I followed him on Twitter, and there are two things that he will always talk about. One is uh how much that if you want a new jet set radio, ask Sega, not him. Because a lot of people ask him. Deep sea domain. Oh, huh. This is where we're gonna find all those shells that that guy wants. The other thing is how much he loves Family Guy. He actually really, really likes that show. The American animated sitcom series. So much that for at least like half a year, his profile picture was Peter Griffin, but like styled after his face. It was kind of weird. But I admire the determination to keep it for that long. Da 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 Ooh. Mermaid shell one out of six. Very nice. Life is wondrous and vast. Da 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 da. That should be enough to give me a new heart container. Very nice. We're getting upgrades. Aximin's advice is transcendent. You just know good music when you see it, Thomas. I trust in you on that one. Yeah. Question for anybody that's been... Oh, what? Is this water poisonous? Yes, it is! Ah. But what if... What if... Maybe I can just make it. Go! 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 <laughs> Screw you! Screw you, game designers! No, I shouldn't- I- 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 I like the game designers, but- I cheesed it! I feel like a Super Metroid sequence breaker. Cause that is exactly what they do. Like, that one specific room I'm thinking of. Last time I saw somebody speedrun, uh, Super Metroid. Uh, oh, 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 whoo. Uh, in the ghost ship. The ghost ship area. There's one with, like, a spiky floor, and you're supposed to use the grappling hook to swing above it. But if you're sequence breaking and you don't have it yet, people just, like, tank the damage and rush through. <laughs> cheese strats, baby. Ah, I got that stinky cheese. Beautiful. If Square Enix made a model of you in Final Fantasy XII... Oh, we got invisible eyes. I'm the invisible man. Incredible how you can see right through me. Little plant. I can only imagine I need to jot this down for later. Maybe I have to water it at some point. Like the Korok trees. <laughs> if Square Enix made a model of you in Final Fantasy XII, that would be your profile pic across all media for the rest of your life. Transcend it. Maybe we can make it happen. I mean, Final Fantasy XII is already, you know, a completed game. And, you know, it's already too late to ask that for them to make one in an HD remake. But maybe, maybe they're willing to print more PS2 copies just for you. Another one of these trees. Lorax, what did you do? I speak for the trees. And they're saying I'm innocent. They're saying it in Vietnamese. The trees. Uh, Folzy Bear was terrible at that Super Metroid room. I mean... If it works, it works. Honestly. Da 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 Ah, Colonel. If I time this right... hey up Easy. Okay, we good up here. What is is okay? The biodome is leaking. Anybody want to fix that? Bioshock over here. Hello, I'm Andrew Ryan. Is a man not entitled to the sweat? It's the sweat, all of the sweat. I'm sure nobody else is using that sweat. If you're not using that sweat, could you give it to me? Whoa, baby. Five out of six. We just need one more. 
Whatever it is. Bakugo. <laughs> yeah, he needs sweat. It's explosive. My Hero Academia. We are currently finished with Season 3 of My Hero Academia on the uh, Anime Nights. Uh, it'll be a while before I can schedule a start of Season 4. I want to watch it, but... Not this weekend. I don't have... I I'm not free this weekend. I'm not sure about next one either. But I'll try. I'll try to make time. Maybe on a... Uh, no. Nah. See, the problem... Oh, big lobster. Heavy lobster. Is when I schedule an anime night for... Anything besides the day that it's already been on. Then... It's not going to work for some people who have been able to watch previous nights. And it gets all jumbled up. People won't be able to catch up in time. And uh, it just kind of splits us. <laughs> I've, I've, I've realized. But I do want to watch more of it. One thing I love about My Hero Academia... Why am I so fast now? One thing I love about My Hero Academia is how they actually put thought into all the kids' powers. Last shell. Let's go back to Marty McFly. I mean, Milo! Whatever, Michael J. Fox. Stuart Little. Like, this kid doesn't just have explosive hands. Like, specifically, it's his sweat that explodes. So maybe, like, there could be a point at which he's dehydrated and he can't sweat and he can't explode. And there's definitely been parts where, like, he has modified gauntlets that store the sweat into into these little grenade-shaped things, and then he can use it as a portable grenade. Very, very clever. Very clever. Um... I know there's areas I could explore. Let's see if I can do that a little bit more thoroughly while I'm here. Because if I'm going to go all the way back... No, 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 I just came from there. Now let's just go back to Milo. Whatever his name is. Guys, go watch Atlantis. It is an underrated Disney movie. I always forget it's by Disney. So, Sapphire, welcome back. I am speed incarnate. Maybe I am the speedrunner. Who knew? And here I thought I was bad at video games. Yeah. Fozzie Bear is heading to bed. You're gonna have a good night, Senor Chicken, and the great people here. Well, thank you, Fozzy. And, uh, thank you for, uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed. And, uh, hope you're able to come the next time. For more either Paper Mario or Shit! Shantae! That wasn't me swearing. I was saying Shan. Shan? Yeah, Shan. That's her nickname. I really am an expert. Expert level chicken, maybe. Expert level amateur. I'll put that on my resume. Uh, Thomas is also going to bed proper, but it's lovely getting to hang out. Yeah, I appreciate Matei today, Aximin. Always good to see you. Have a good night, and uh, next time you're streaming, uh, I hope I can catch it. I usually have work. But I think work has been slightly slowing down recently. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, go check Axeman out, guys. Plays a lot of Animal Crossing. Just chill Nintendo Wii games. And you know. You know, I'm all about that here. Ooh, secret. Da, 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 da. Save man? Alright, which one of you guys is going to betray me, save man? You can't all be the same safe guy. Look at you. Doing a little dance, trying to earn my favor. I'm the one who dances. It's me. Would you like to save your progress? No, I would. Zane Internet. How you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. you real machine. I've only been streaming for about two hours right now. But uh, we already got one dungeon out of the way. Hopefully I can get to the next one and also do that one. Yeah, this game is actually going at breakneck speeds. Yep. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. I gotta have it. Yeah. 
little metroidvania with the most. Seen a lot of... Encountering a lot of places that I'll need to come back to later when I either get the ability to swim or jump higher. You can fly? No. Jump good. Hello. Yeah, this game is very adorable as the Shantae games always are. Oh, I'm back here. Well, sure, that's where I wanted to go anyway. We're, uh, we are delivering a bunch of ancient crystals to Milo from Atlantis, basically. He looks like him. He looks like him. I, I tried to give him a Michael J. Fox voice. I've been watching a lot of Back to the Future clips lately. Like, YouTube has just been recommending them to me, and I don't understand why. I think because it thinks it's related to Doctor Who. Because of time travel, I guess? Doc! Doc! Marty! We have to go back. I just sent you to the future. No, but you don't understand, Doc. I'm back. I'm back from the future. Great, Scott. I love that series. Yeah. I'm so... I'm so surprised, but also relieved and amazed that Christopher Lloyd, Doc Brown, is still voice acting in, like, video games and stuff. He's like the latest uh, voice actor for Xehanort in Kingdom Hearts. And, uh... I just, I just, he's just, he's just a great dude. Xehan Internet had a birthday the other day. Well, happy birthday to you! You prefer I call you Xehanor or Uriel? I, I guess at some point I have to get used to your new, to your new name. Yeah, I hope it went well. I hope you had fun. Happy birthday, congratulations, happy birthday with salutations, happy birthday, may your sky stay blue, happy birthday to you. Yeah. Ancient crystals, you mean pop rocks. No, 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 they're ancient shells. Don't eat those pop rocks. I, I mean, I guess you could eat shells. They're made of calcium. And calcium is edible. Shock is actually completely edible. It's made of shells, but it's, I guess, good for you? I'm not sure. You prefer Xana. Oh, okay. All right, good to know. Thank you. Yeah. Calcium is edible. A lot of people use it for, like, um, supplements. Like, it's good for your bones. Well, I mean, yeah, calcium is edible in, like, milk. But straight up shock. Uh, you can just chomp on it. You know? Delta room. That that is a thing that some people do. Like some doctors will prescribe calcium tablets. If you, if you are deficient. Little did you know. Uh, the nearest warp room is actually nowhere around here. Well, I mean, the nearest warp room is right there to the left. But the nearest warp room to Milo, I don't know where that is. I. I think I'm still better off just walking to it, but I am just lost now, actually. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna warp out to the surface again, and I'll find my way back down to where that guy needs his, um, needs his shells. Here we go. Let's go this way. Warp! Calcium! Yeah! From cows! Calcium! There you go, yellow Pikachu. <laughs> Apparently not Xena from Code Lyoko. Christopher Lloyd doing voice acting is so cool. Many actors can perfectly match him, and he's old and famous, but he still reprises roles. <laughs> you know, it's somehow even more accurate. Because when 2015 rolled around, uh, Christopher Lloyd basically became as old as Doc Brown's character in Back to the Future 1. So even though he sounds like an old man now, like, it's more accurate to... An old man character? Great Scott! He's just very nice. He was also the woods man in uh, Over the Garden Wall. That is where you got the uh, name idea. Oh, okay. Xana. I like it. I like it. Very uh, high tech. Yup. Uh, before I backtrack to too many places, we gotta go find 
Let's see, where that where's that dude? Entrance to the underground city should be somewhere around here. Speedrun tactics! Don't even bother killing anything. Pacifist run, let's go. Yeah! The enemy, uh, the enemy design is Shantae. Everything is just a joy to look at, the way it's animated. Every little bit of the characters just move around, like the little bits of armor on those dudes just shift. The bandanas. It's very nice. They put a lot of attention to the animations. A lot of attention to detail in these games. There he is. <gasps> oh! You found mermaid shells! Did you bring me six of them? No! But I need them for my research! Fine. Splendid! At last I can use this data to test my theory! Checking. Uh-huh. Processing. Oh dear. Deciphering. And... Blast it! Drat! That's heavy, dude. These shells came from a sea cow! They came from what now? They came from this! By the look of it, all six came from the same cow. Well, thanks anyway. I probably owe you something for your trouble. Here, something I found in the ocean floor. If it's, if it's toast. It's not toast. Hey! Well, whatever it is, it's what we need. Vera's amulet! You can keep that lucky amulet for your troubles. Does look like Milo. Oh, the humanity. Manatee, sea cow. Got it. He did do voiceover a lot. Yeah, Michael J. Fox, also a stand-up dude. Doesn't do as much voice acting these days. But for a while, even, even with his uh, Parkinson's, he was able to do a lot of roles. Because he just genuinely enjoyed acting. In addition to, like, Milo from Atlantis. Like, Stuart Little... He even replies the role of Marty for like the Back to the Future video game, but not, not Marty like for most of the game, but like a future older version of Marty, and that was really cool of Telltale. Um, the actual guy that got to play Marty was some 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 kid that can do a super good Marty McFly impression, but otherwise sounds like a normal teenager. Like. He, you see interviews with a guy. I think his name is like AJ Lacasio. He's just like talking like, yeah, I, I, I love the Back to the Future movies. Uh, every time I see it, it's like, Doc, Doc! Like he can just immediately shift into that uh, more voice cracky, teenagery voice that Marty McFly has. Like, heavy, dude. I gotta be careful not to do a shaggy voice when I do that. This is heavy, Doc. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious doo-doo. You're telling me you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? I'm trying my best. Uh, let me know if I'm doing a good job. Imagine a cow wearing the, the shells as if, as if like a mermaid. Like the shell bra. Oh, yes. One for each udder and then the... Six. That makes sense. That cow has been places. They've been all the way around the underground. You see how far I had to travel that entire lower area? That's one mobile cow. Wait, what's this? You found my lucky amulet. Can I have it? No. I can't? Seriously? Why do they even bother asking? You say I'm doing good. <laughs> Thank you, Soul Sapphire. My amulet was crafted on this island. It's made entirely of fusion stone. Oh! With it, we'll be able to combine our magic and then save Harmony and the others. Get time! Oh, is she glowing? Refresh dance! Oh, now we just got a little healing spell. I haven't run out of food, but that's that's very helpful. You like dancing. Then do it! Our powers have combined! The refresh dance can heal your wounds, but can also bring life to others! Ah! I was wondering how that actually helps us progress. In the last game, it just healed you. Thank you. Say! 
Why not try using it in this room? For the trees! I'm the Lorax. I dance for the trees! What? Ooh! Oh, look at that! Happy flower! I'm certain that the refresh dance will keep you healthy. Be sure to try it on other things as well. Like the song of healing, but in reverse. Or more healing-y. Like it, love it, gotta have it. Beautiful. Thank you, Vera. This will be immensely helpful for us. AJ Locasio, great actor. I wonder if... I hope he does more voiceover work besides the Back to the Future game. He's got some talent. Andrew Chaikin, who voices Biff Tannen sometimes in the Back to the Future Telltale games, once voiced Dio Brando. He did? I think what happened with the Back to the Future games is... Uh, Andrew Chaikin, um, he... Was he the one who voiced Dio Brando in, like, season one of JoJo? Because I know eventually it changed to... Uh, what's his name? What's his name? I think it's just with a P. Some other dude. Some other dude. And that's when he, like, you know... It's funny that he has a different voice actor in parts one and three. Like, he's British in the first one, but not anymore! Alright, we're going back down. Actually, it might be faster to use the warp dance. Uh, the warp area, rather. Warp, the warp, the warp room. I think what happened is they had some guy, they, they had Andrew Jaken do the voice of Biff Tannen. But then later, um, they were able to get Tom Wilson, the original Biff voice actor. Uh, the original Biff actor. So understandably, I, I think there was no ill will. Uh, they just replaced him with the actual actor for Biff. Something like that. This is the warp room. I've got loads of cash. I think I might max out. I think 999 is the max. Let's go buy stuff. I'm assuming the shop is the one with the potion symbol. Potion seller. Patrick Sates, that's the guy. Yes, yes. He he does a lot of uh does a lot of uh voice acting in anime and stuff. I'ma buy some magic potion. Some more auto potion. Whoop, sorry. And uh, let's just fully upgrade all our hair stuff. Might as well. Super shampoo! Mega shep that's a lot. Super attract. Max attract. Very attractive. And the mega shampoo. Oh, I'm fully upgraded after the second dungeon. I shouldn't have this much power. Let's get Fireball and Pike Ball. I think that's pretty good. These don't these aren't consumable, but I just have that spell now. Uh and a bubble, I guess? Mirror shield, nice. So if I wanted to switch between yeah, use R and L. These are pretty handy. These are a stable item in Shantae. When you summon it, it's a little defensive ball. These make bosses a lot less tedious. Because while you're wailing on them, oh, I am super fast now. The ball also does damage. Very handy. Alright, let's, let's warp back to where we were. Let's see if we can do anything with the trees we've been seeing around here. It's actually pronounced Sites. Oh, I never knew that. Alright, well, he's a good voice actor. The actor who plays Mojo Jojo plays Whole Horse in... The 90s JoJo OVA? No way. Ah, I see. So it was way back. You know what? Um, I really want to see if I can buy... They actually sell an animation cells uh, from that original OVA. They're out there. They're in the wild. Uh, there's, there's sites that are known to have a couple of them. Uh, eBay. Stuff like that. I kind of want one of those original. Oh, oh, okay. Eyeball. I kind of want to buy one. They're one of those pieces of history that are one of a kind yet don't cost that much. Because there isn't a lot of value in a random picture of, like, say, Jotaro from the back. Because there are, like, at least 20 something images slightly like it. But it is one of a kind. And if you are uh, passionate about animation, it's just nice to have. 
The 90s jo 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 Jojo OVAs. You're a bit of a voiceover credits buff. I don't seek it out, but when I notice it, I notice it. Yeah, I, I, I do like to visit um, BehindTheVoiceActors.com and just like check out who voiced recognizable characters. Like whenever I recognize a voice in an anime or a game or a TV show, I'm just like, did that guy also play this? And sure enough, yes. Sure enough, yes. Sometimes. It's especially fun when it's like, the Danganronpa characters show up and you're like, wait a minute. He also voiced, I don't know, Goku? I say that as if Sean Chamel is not like super famous already. But you know, Goku voices Lucario in Super Smash Brothers. He also voices, like, some dudes in Yu-Gi-Oh. You're a regular on that site. You don't moderate, but you're on there. Yeah, love that site. As you can tell, I, 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 not only do I voice act for fun, I just, I just, I just am a bit passionate for it. Recovery dance? Recovery dance. Bro, my pretties! It was a chicken nugget plant. See, little did you know, they actually just grow on trees. No chickens need to be harmed in the making of these nuggets. Da, 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 da. Unlimited power! Ba, da, 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 da. Hey, ooh. So, I don't have a direct lead on where to go to find the next, um... To find the next dungeon. But I just gotta remember where all those plants are. Interestingly enough, whenever I come across one of those Tinker Bats, they don't actually damage me. Oh, I'm just killing them for no reason. I feel bad now. Okay. Uh, let's actually head back to the underground where we found all the sea cow shells. Because that's where I remember seeing the most trees. Alright, I'll let you tinker on with whatever you're tinkering with. Mr. Bat. Don't even look like a bat. Ow. Do I like to animate? You have a passion, but you dislike drawing. You just like how drawings look. I I was actually talking about this yesterday on stream. Uh, when I was in high school, I had a drawing tablet PC. And I would fiddle around with Flash. Uh... It's been so long since I've actually, you know, seriously animated anything. I should get back into it. I, I've been focusing on trying to draw better. And even then, I don't have time to do that. I like drawing. Uh, but I'm always striving to try to make more dynamic poses. I actually bought some Japanese pose books. Uh, and they have pretty good references. Like, they give you, like, these base figures and then... The idea is you kind of understand the shapes that make that and, you know, draw your own characters on top of that skeleton. Alright. All that did was give me more magic, which I used in order to revive the plant. Thank you. You might have to draw for work, though. Oh! Like a prospective new job or, um... That, that's your current job. You would love to draw better, like make your own stuff for acting work. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Like make your own sort of acting reel and then voice act to it. It's definitely stuff I'm like all about. I just never have the time for it, you know? That's what practice is for, right? The more you practice, the faster you get at doing that kind of stuff. I... I... I've been reading about... Because when you're an artist that actually sells your work for money for like commissions and stuff... A lot of people have trouble with figuring out how to price their commissions and... That's exactly why I don't do commission work because I would, no, have, I would have no idea what to price anything. Like, do I pay for the hours? Or do I pay for what I perceive to be the quality? Do I charge for that rather? Because what's... 
If it's purely by hours, then somebody who's good enough to draw really fast would get paid less than somebody who takes longer to do the same thing. But is that right? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Kind of just... You kind of just got to watch the market value. There you go. For art pieces and whatnot. Not reels, but projects. And you feel that lack of time. Absolutely. But uh, I guess the moral of that story is just practice more. And not only will you get a feel for how much your work is worth if you were to go down the avenue of like directly selling that, but you just get better. We heal the world. Man, I wonder what all these nuggets are for. Are they made of gold or are they something else? Gemstone. Actually, I think I did hear Somebody mentioned something about nuggets. I need to find at least 10, I think? Well, either way, I'm finding more. We're just exploring, basically. Da, 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 da. Hello? Here we go. Uh, what else is going on? Let's see, what else is news? Talked about uh, cup noodle models and stuff like that. Been watching people uh, play Bug Fables recently. I've been on that Paper Mario kick, as you guys know. And I'm really enjoying it. We're about halfway through Paper Mario 1. I think. I think. Just going off a of pure chapter number. I don't know how long the chapters are. If they're longer as the game goes on. But uh, we've done four chapters in the prologue, prologue so far. And I'm, I, I'm loving it. This is a good era for games, I think. Just fun stuff coming out. And... Uh, there's also time between big releases that let you just, you know, take a breather and play old stuff. Any, uh, w what are people playing right now? If you guys are playing any video games. Because nothing big has come out, so maybe you're still working on any your Animal Crossing Islands. Maybe you're checking out retro games. Like, this is that period of time where people just go back to their old staples. Right. Hey, rude. I think. What was keeping me from going through this area, I wonder? There's a, there's a spot to the south of this next room. Let's see. Ah, yes, I can't swim. Yep, not there. Gonna have to see if there's any revelations. Anything new to see. Otherwise, I'm just aimlessly wandering. No. <laughs> uh, I beat the system. They think they're so sneaky being invincible and whatnot. Dirt crawler monster. Right, the monster cards. I keep forgetting about these. The more of these you collect, they actually give you a few like extra little power up stats. Rockets travel further. I don't have rockets yet. Drill through dirt faster. I would like that. I'll take off the ceiling bug, put on the crawler. Uh, tree troll, super ball, uh, convert gems to magic. I think this is good enough. I don't feel faster. But I'll believe it. Chicken nuggets! You know it, Soul Sapphire. I am what I eat. Do 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 do. Boo do 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 do. I am faster when I'm not in the dirt, just in general. I, you know what, I think I am. I am faster. I do feel it. But not so fast that it's uncontrollable. I think that's a good speed. I was just here. Let's try exploring some more then. Can't go here because I can't swim. Before I run around in circles, let me just mentally mark off all these uh, open exits and... Just tally off, just mark off why I can't go there. Can't break through these yet, these rocks. So that, that's it. The the lower area, th that's all done. Wait, there's a plant here. I wonder. Just money? Like, okay. 
So clearly I gotta use my new ability to traverse the world, but it's not really letting me access new places. All right, I'm heading back to the main town. Maybe I'll see something new there. Otherwise, I've exhausted this area of the map. Double check this area down here, and let's see. Just had to believe, and then it was true. Never underestimate the power of the human mind. Or in this case, the chicken mind. Sequel to DreamWorks' Mega Mind. Didn't do too well financially. But you know, I have the only VHS copy. That was the tape that Koopa Koot was asking for in Paper Mario. Just tell, tell Goompa that I need the tape. You know the one. Newt dash. A dash of Newt? Sounds like a witch's brew. Cast a spell, stir the pot. You sure Chicken Mind will be a hit? What will be the plot? What will be the plot of Chicken Mind? Also, what is the plot of Mega Mind? I've actually never watched it. If, if you ever, for a moment, think I've watched the movie, the answer is no. The answer is no. If you want to ask, have I watched Back to the Future? No. Yes, I have. But also no. But also yes. <laughs> Imagine, I just love it so much if I have actually never watched it. Fake fan. I actually have a Lego DeLorean too. Even before they had... Okay, this should be a... Yeah, I've been here. Before they had Lego Dimensions where you could play as Doc Brown and Marty. Uh... I was gonna say Philip J. Fry. Uh, Michael J. Fox. That's a different J. He does voice Marty in Lego Dimensions. And that's really cool. Complete reprisal of the role. It's uh, very silly. Got time traveling. Da, da, da. But uh, even before that, they had a Lego DeLorean that you just... You completely make. Like, it uses no pre-made car parts for Legos. It's all like, piece by piece. Create the doors that fold out. And everything. Okay, the wheels are pre-made car pieces, but nothing else. Uh, Mega Mind's plot. Villain stops being a villain after defeating the hero. That's Mega Mind. Ah, I. That sounds interesting, actually. I've heard it's actually really good. All right, what has Goku missed? You were watching. You were keeping your dog company while she cowered in the laundry room. Oh. Hey, that's pretty important, Goku. I appreciate you doing that. Mega Mind, pretty simple. Superhero versus villain. What if the villain wanted to be a hero? I think that's as much as I know about Mega Mind. Besides, uh, what I just learned right now. Didn't even see this last time. Ow! Stop the invisible eyeballs! Yeah, these plants don't really help me. Yep, yep. I've exhausted my... searching. I was really excited to... revive all these plants. I guess they don't really do much. Going back to the main town. I do like this over how they handled warping back in the first Shan the first two Shantae games. Before you had to like find lost squids and return them to the warp squid mamas. And once a squid mama has enough babies, you can actually give any squid baby to any squid mama. They don't really they're not really concerned if they have the right babies, they just want their babies. Then they'll let you warp. Uh, is there a tour group that goes to Armor Town? It's up on the Eastern Plateau. I want to try on some of their famous body armor before I get too old. That sounds like a new area to go to. I wonder, can I actually go through these dungeons in any order? I haven't really considered that. Just overall progress. Well, maybe not any order, but like maybe the second and third could have been swapped. Ah, that'd be pretty cool. The hero quits, villain takes over, and gets bored. Ah, oh, like One Punch Man, but for a villain. I like that. Uh, after some important stuff, 
that super spoilery, the villain decides to be a hero and he's good at it. Ah, yes, beautiful. One of the strongest designs in any like superhero show or anime is that like the villains and the heroes, maybe they're not too different after all. And the villains could have been a hero if they had not taken some choices in life. And then this is the logical conclusion of that. Like, if he's bored of being a villain, oh yeah, well, I guess he'll be a hero. That's fun. Or, you know, whatever the actual plot of that is. I'm just assuming. So, we've been here before. But what can I do now that I have the ability to dig? Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. When you're done, you dig a bigger tunnel. Dig a tunnel, dig, dig a tunnel. What was that? Quick before the hyena comes. Okay, okay. Yup. Out of here, frog boy. Alright. I stand, let's watch it. No anime nights, only movie nights. Mega Minds is an anime. Beautiful. Golden Crabe. Ah. So last time I was here. Anything secret? Yes! Oh, I can do this now. Last time I was here, I couldn't progress because I can't swim. So I think that hasn't changed. But I can get this squid. Beautiful. Because this is where we got the... Shellfish. Yeah. Barnacles. Barnacles! Hello? <laughs> so slippery. Please no waking. Not feeling refreshed yet. Oh! How about the Song of Awakening for you? -da 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 -da. Oh, what was that just now, my good sir or madam? I'm so completely awake, I feel like water skiing on a baby's bicycle straight to the stalls. I don't think you'd get very far. Woohoo! Oh, get see, got zooks a million! How long it will last and last me down there? I've got to run the winch and hold the map now. Not later. Look at this split. On it up. Somebody's in a bathosphere. Do not pass Joe. Do not collect rent, as they say. Stand back. Sir, I think... I think whoever's down there may not have made it. Dig a hole. Dig a hole. I'm a good shovel, lady. Why don't you get in there and see if the lights and lights are their right sails? Or if they're all waterlogged and jellified lima skeletons? Oh boy, I hope they're fine. It'll be your fault for not waking me up sooner. I... I don't even know you, sir. Also, when did I get so old? Last time I was awake, I was 23. Oh. <gasps> sir! Ma'am! Oh, they're fine. Wait! This is the crew! Yeah, that's the lady from the main town and this is Milo! Look who it is. Aboard the metal fish. As I mentioned before, our mission is to learn everything we can about the sunken city. Metal fish, this is a sub. We all live in an unpainted submarine. Everyone says we're crazy, that the lower levels are cursed. Evil monsters, blah. How did you get here? You were in town. <laughs> well, we say no to conventional wisdom. Let us descend to a place where wisdom is without meaning. Oh, so you're going down to my level. To the very bottom of the food chain. Want to see what's down there? Not yet. Let me talk to everybody. <gasps> we meet again. These nice folks are my fellow scientists. So glad you could join us. We were just about to take the metal fish even deeper. Hello there. Did we return to the surface already? Or is my depth gauge busted? I think we're good. Don't look now, sir. But, uh... There's a big daddy behind you! Watch out! Just don't anger the little sister, you'll be okay. Get him, Mr. Bubbles! Take a deep breath, metal fish! Going down! I hope I don't actually have to breathe. I mean, hold my breath. This submarine doesn't actually run, does it? Why does it need a crane to descend? Look, we're actually going down! Yeah, this is nice. 
I think he means do not pass go. No, no, don't pass Joe. Joe gets very angry if you pass him. <laughs> the sub is pressurized. Yeah, I shouldn't have to hold my breath. It's like, by design, it should be fine. Uh. sure this thing is safe? Relax. Of course, there's nothing to worry about. If we were in any danger at all, the proximity alarm would tell us. Cue alarm in. What's that noise? <laughs> it's just a proximity alarm. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Sit back and relax. I am definitely going down entirely too fast. You get the beds. I'm not relaxed anymore! Take it easy! This is just water! They're not supposed to be inside the sub! Water is the sailor's best friend. It's just stopping by to say hello, that's all. I don't want to say hello. I want to say goodbye. And that howling noise? Merely one of nature's creatures to the bounty of the sea. Coming to pay its respects with a friendly metal creaking. Hole crushing. Just for fun hug. Tell it to go away! We're dead, aren't we? <laughs> Pretty much. Dad, this, this is the worst vacation ever! What she said. Wait, there's a fish. There is a fish inside that the science bubble. Oh, I know. We gotta electrify the outer hull. Wouldn't that electrify the water in here too? Maybe that'll scare the beastie off. Uh. Wouldn't that fry us, too? One way to find out. I mean, I'm magic, so I should be fine. Come on, how about you guys? Huh? The shaking stopped. I had a feeling that might do the trick. You had no idea what you were doing, did you? Absolutely not. Next stop, the ocean floor. Well, that was an adventure. <laughs> I shouldn't be alive right now. Look, it's gotta be destiny. The only reason I'm still alive to tell the tale. Wait, what? I guess a different crane picked us up, but who was manning it? This is it. Here we are, and no worse for the wear. If you say so. Anytime you'd like to return to the surface, we'll be here. But for now, hmm. be a deer and check the hull for damage, would you? I'm checking this fish. Look at that fish. Blissfully unaware. He's being used for power, isn't he? <gasps> Phew! Careful. That thing might still be out there. I'm as careful as they come. Please go outside and check the hull for damage. <gasps> Why? Why does he have almost Papyrus's theme? Squid Baron! Oh, there you are! Squid Baron? Squid Baron. Good! For a minute there, I thought you couldn't hear me knock. That was knocking! That was you? That was you banging on the sub? You put us all in danger! What ifs? Hey, listen, this is important, which is why I needed to talk to you. Is this about the missing girls? I have an idea for a video game! Picture this. Not now. Squid Baron. Hear me out. This is awesome. I will be the star and... I say no now! Mm. They are in extreme danger down here! This place is home to the foul features that will feast on your very soul! You know? You're right. Better to show you. Let me go get set up. Uh... Uh... The Squid Baron is on this island, too? Where would he be without him? <sighs> Five adventures worth of action. That conversation was at least two more. Aww. Oh. As if I didn't have enough to deal with. Lab. So this, this music's pretty good. Bump, bump, bump. Ba-dum, bump, bump, ba-dum. Ba-dum, bump, bump, bump. Ba-dum, bump, ba da dum Clean anybody? Can I? Ooh, I think this crane is broken. Nah, I just can't man it myself. 
So Squid Baron, uh, that's a recurring character in the Shantae series. We seem to be in the uh, Umbrella Secret Lab or something. Squid Baron uh, first appeared in Risky... I, can't, I actually think he might have been in the first game. But he appeared in Risky's Revenge, being all like, I have to defeat you now as the mini-boss of this dungeon, or else, or else, I will never be remembered as a unique character. I'll just be that one mini-boss. And then he breaks the fourth wall by like coming back later with armor. He's like, ha ha, I've become important enough to reappear in a new and more powerful form with armor. Not the, not the move I made to use. And there's throughout the entire game series, this, this is a skeleton chameleon. Throughout the entire game series, he just keeps making more and more fourth wall breaky appearances. And uh, that's his thing. That's his thing. He shows up in like the next game after that, being all like, Haha! The developers remembered me enough to put me in this game, too! When you beat him, he's like, oh man! I guess I really am not cut out to be a mini boss. I'll just be like, palette swapped and used as a regular enemy later on. <gasps> I'm worthless. Your friends aren't the brightest bulbs, are they? Nobody said that Squid Baron was Shantae's friend. He just, uh, appears every now and then. So this looks like some kind of dungeon. Water-based dungeon? More like lab? Water's rushing by, but it doesn't actually seem to be impacting my physics. Secret stuff. Something secret up here, too. Hold on. Yep. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I'm loving, I'm digging this theme. They made a lot of assets for each individual area to make them unique. Oh, look at these fellas. What are they made of? They're like some goop, transforms, amorphous blobs. Oh, they're horrifying. Oh yeah, they had fish, apparently. I wouldn't trust- Ow! I wouldn't trust that fish. It's probably contaminated with... Unknown diseases. And at least 10% mercury. You know it. If you eat a lot of sushi, you gotta watch out for mercury poisoning. Uh, the bigger fish you eat, the more mercury you get, because those fish eat other fish, and yup, big fish! And it just accumulates. Yup! Ah? Uh, perhaps I'll get the electricity power somewhere in here? Spoopy. Or, you know, blobfish! Uh, I don't think they ever make blobfish sushi, Yellow Pikachu. If they did... Would it be any good? I'm curious now. Maybe I try it? Squid Baron is Deadpool without the intelligence. You know, I kind of feel that. Because just like Deadpool, nobody else really acknowledges his fourth wall breaking at all. He just keeps doing it at everyone's behest. They just, everyone assumes he's crazy. I feel it, I feel it. Again, another one of you. Crawfish Princess, please accept me. I want to be your friend. This statue. Can I bring life to it, I wonder? I can! And then I can bring death to it, too. Oh! I got a Dagron ball. Excuse me, what was happening to your clothes? Be forward, please. Next time on Dagron Ball Z! Da, 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 da. Wait. Last time on Dagron Ball Z, Shantae found the mythical dance that allowed her to bring life to those who witnessed it. Using its magic power, she reinvigorated statues around a hidden laboratory, not realizing that they were enemies ready to attack. 
Shantae would then find all three statues and kill them because she is heartless and merciless. This time on Dagron Ball Z. <laughs> will she be able to complete her task? Or will she die to many, many bottomless pits and very, very obvious traps? Will she remember that she actually passed one of those statues on the way over here and needs to backtrack all the way to it? Find out this time. Shantae, not the brightest bulb in the toolbox. Deadpool ain't that smart to begin with. I think the whole thing is that, you know, he could be smart. But the fact that he's got, like, super cancer and the ability to regenerate, it just messes up. It, it like, invades his brain and just makes him insane. That's the thing about Deadpool. Like, that's his backstory. He has super regeneration powers, but because he also has, you know, that it just gets up all in his brain, and that's why he's so insane. It's... and... it's a sad, but also interesting premise, honestly. Yeah, yeah, that's his thing. I wonder who... I need to, like look up who came up with the idea for Deadpool, like, way back when. He's not that old of a character, actually. I think he may have been invented in, like, the 80s or the 90s. Slap, slap, slap. Dagron Ball! You thought it said Dragon Ball. <laughs> That's what you want to think. That's what you want to think. But actually, Dagron is an enemy that appeared in a previous Shantae game, so I don't know what they're doing with him. Let me see. Dead pool. Oh, 90s. Yeah. Rob Liefeld. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Sounds about right. Thank you, Sprint. Also, I hope you've been doing well. It's literally Wolverine's regeneration. Oh! Yeah, I think I... Yeah. That does make sense. They are both uh, Marvel mutant properties. He literally got injected with Wolverine's healing factor somehow. I guess depending on the origin story, I also have not watched the Deadpool movies. I hear they're really good. But, uh, yeah, I really should. <laughs> I should. Deadpool is a mutate, not a mutant. Yeah, kind of why I said, like, mutant properties. Like, he is not himself a mutant. He just got, you know, involved with the mutants, and that's why he's owned by Fox. Yeah, but Fox is now owned by Marvel, so there you go. I mean, owned by Disney, so there you go. It all worked out in the end. Let's see, what is... Okay, if I want to go south, I gotta go to the other side of this room. Got it, got it, good. You're learning a lot today. Me too! All I know about the X-Men is, like, due to Marvel vs. Capcom and... While myself never having read the comics or watched any movies, just reading up lore tangential to those games. So, it's nice to get, like, the missing bits of information that I've been missing this whole time. Thank you guys for being so knowledgeable about comic books. Don't forget the Morlocks! Now that, I have no idea what those are. If they were in Marvel vs. Capcom, maybe I'd know. Uh... I mained a Deadpool in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And I wish I had the version, uh, like the ultimate version that had Phoenix right in it, because I would definitely main him as well. Deadpool, he does cool stuff. He hits one of his supers, is hitting somebody with his combo bar. Alright, Squid Baron, why are you blocking the way? Sir, 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 move! Out! Stop it! Stop it! Huh. Move it, Squid Baron. I need to find the missing girls now! Yeah, I am moving out of your way. Totally. But first, I need to show you my idea. Imagine this. You play as the bold and daring Squid Baron. Why? Duh. Fantasy fulfillment. Whose fantasy? Yours. Way no. 
No, not even. Look, Squid Baron, I like you, but no, you're not that great. Shh, you're interrupting. Your quest is to find three Dagron balls that are hidden about. Ah, fine. But after that, you leave. Ahem. According to the prophecy, you're the only one who can wield the Dagron balls. And that's because you bear the mark of the champ on your left hand. I don't have anything on my left hand. This is dumb. I'm a squid. Which hand is my left hand? Enough. Learn by doing. You'll find the three Dagron balls trapped inside the statues that I put them in. I already found two. Go now! Aww. Squeed. Alright, let's keep exploring. You know it. Reason to explore. I didn't need any reason. I just wanted to find the Dagron balls. I just wanted to destroy the statues. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -dum, bum, ba -da -dum. Yeah, because Deadpool has cancer and that healing factor, it gets replicated all up in his brain, and his mental state is due to multiple tumors. That is very sad. Morlocks are mutants who fled to the sewers because their mutation affects their appearance. Like Spike from X-Men Evolution. I'm actually thinking more like uh, the ghouls from Fallout. Something like that. Does a storm take over in the 90s series at one point? I, I guess so. <laughs> at this point, it's stuff outside my knowledge. Oh, I played MVC3 all the time in college. Um, I don't know how to play fighting games well. I will admit that. I absolutely just... My characters were Deadpool, Dante, and... I forget who the third was. Or was it only two characters in MVC3? Either way, I just picked characters with guns and just spammed. And I made my roommate so mad. Hold on, let me see, get, get the secret. This will make it better. Like, I know that's not how you play fighting games, and I knew that back then. But it worked! <laughs> now at least I try to play fighting games the right way. And I owe that to Skullgirls. That's a fun series. Or I just just game, it's not even a series. Little indie fighting game. Very well animated. Oh yeah. And actually really good at teaching you the basics of fighting games. Like the tutorial mode is one of the best in any fighting game I've seen. Because instead of just like giving you a place to practice moves without really telling you why you're doing moves, it actually tells you the basics of like, oh, this is how a combo works because of like the frames of this animation leading to that animation. So I need whatever electricity power activates these. It's just a good tutorial. And it helps you learn like actual fighting games. Well, other fighting games. Remember, I'm a chicken. Ghouls are a good analogy too. Good to know. Bump, bump, bump. Deadpool, X-23, and Dante for you. I did like playing as Dante a lot. There's also uh, sometimes I play as Zero. And I think Chun-Li, but that's because I wanted to learn how to play Chun-Li in other fighting games, like Street Fighter 4 at the time. But, uh, yeah. I don't, I'm not super into fighting games. Uh, uh, probably the reason behind that is I never really had anybody to play with as a kid. It's fighting games specifically. I had some friends. But the thing about fighting games is, if you're not good at them, you will get destroyed. And if you do get good at them, then if you're better than your friends, then they won't want to play with you. It is hard. It is hard to find people who are exactly at your skill level. Even for, like, Smash. Did we summon the magic Dagron and get a wish? Remember, Dagron, not Dragon. I'm exploring. Before I give these back to the Squid Baron. Because I know that's what we're supposed to do. I am not lost. I am just, you know. My penchant for exploration knows no bounds. Three, four, four. Chun-Li is your main. Definitely Chun-Li and Ryu were the only two characters I really learned in vanilla Three, four, four. But then when, uh, what? Was it Ultimate? Arcade Edition? 
whatever the next version of that was came out, I picked up Dudley. And he's been one of my favorite characters in any fighting game because he's just like this gentleman dude who boxes and like he throws a rose at you and calls you gutter trash. <laughs> Machine gun blow. And then he, he showed in Strike Fighter 3, he shows up in like a car. It, Dudley's inclusion in Street Fighter 4 arcade or whatever made me want to play Street Fighter 3. And uh, he's who I mean in that game. Yeah. Hadangaki! Hadangaki! Zero, right. Did we get a wish or not? I don't know, that's up to the Squid Baron. We better. Oh, you brought quest stuff? Yes, bring me three boar butts. Ahem. <laughs> Will you deliver the Dagron balls unto me? No. Hadangeki. 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 How did you know what it sounded like when I played as Zero, Hammy? <laughs> I'm going to need those. Okay, I'll give them to you. Okay, I'll sell it to you. No, that's too slow. Too low. I'm Draco. What's up, Marco? Uh, how am I like? How goes Shantae's GF adventure? I is Shantae the GF or is she finding GFs? I mean, she's finding a bunch of half genies, so I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's going pretty good, actually. Going pretty good. Uh, for a bit, just before this chapter, I was kind of lost in what to do. But I'm making progress now. Yeah, we got the Squid Baron. Look at him. He's angry. No talk him, but also talk him. The quest is fulfilled! Now I give you a treat or whatever, and you'd get more powerful. Get it? That's the game! Is that it? Can I please get back to my rescue mission now? Hey, you do you. I'm off to check in my investments. Think about it. What, do I look like a game dev to you? Um. <laughs> Whew! I thought he'd never leave! Let me just check he didn't, like, smash into the wall or something. And... Nah, uh, he seems fine. Unfortunately. Before I go down that place to the left, let me see what's over to the right. Because I got distracted by the warp room last time. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Not the warp room. That was the last Dagon Ball. Is this not the game in which Shantae goes on a quest to gain a vast number of girlfriends? I think so! They're the ones we met at the beginning. There was a Powerpuff Girl GF, and there was a Leader GF. Uh, there was a Zombie GF. Lots of them. Lots of them. Squishy boy. I'm just saying, that's how the game was. Scanning. Nothing? Soul Sapphire is heading out for the night. Have a good night, and thanks for a fun stream. Soul Sapphire, thank you. Thank you for um, the kind words, and it's always fun to see you. I hope... You have a good night. Sleep well, okay? And stay clucky. Bok, bok. Slide to the left. <laughs> Slide to the right. Everybody clap your hands. Whoop. Clap, 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 Turn it out. Can you imagine dancing like this? Just immediately kicking your leg. Ooh, ah, ugh. Little stars coming out of the ground. So we got Volcano. Is this an entire dungeon? I, I guess I'll check it out. Let's do it. Let's hope it doesn't take too long. Bone dudes. Happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month to you. Yeah. It is June, as you guys know. Uh, Twitch has got those, um, those, those new emote modifications. They're pretty cute. And all that. No, times are crazy right now, but, you know, we gotta focus on the positivity every now and then. Alright, okay. What's not positive is these... Uh, these ladies slinging music at me. Music is to be enjoyed. Excuse me, not for killing. Other oh, weaponized music. Isn't that like that dubstep gun from... Uh, from Saint Row 4? These snakies have... Are these lampreys? We got like big old lips. No key. This place is kind of horrifying, honestly. 
Dude, it, it's also hurricane season. Great. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. The squid forgot to give us a wish. Yo, take it up with him. He needs um a lot more development into his game, honestly. Anything secret? He needs to work on. It. He needs to go back to the drawing board. Da 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 da. Lamp rays. I saw a YouTube video, and I don't know why anyone would want to do this, but a YouTube video of a dude who just straight up put a lamprey on the back of his neck and let it bite him. I guess it's supposed to be like this crocodile hunter documentary on like what you're supposed to do if a lamprey bites you. It, you just kind of have to, you just have, you just have to pull it off. That's about it. It's not like leeches or whatever. There's no like technique. Like they grab on, they will start sucking your blood. You just, you just gotta pull them off slowly. Don't just rip it off. You know, survival, survival. All right, we're playing pong now. Da 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 da. Coyote Peterson is that really his name? Uh. Sorry, I do not want to crab GF. Wet gal? That's her name? I mean, it's not inaccurate. Stop it! I don't like this Sam I am. Ah, oh, I had to use my auto potion. I forgot to heal. Well, good thing I had it. I need to keep an eye on my health. Where in California am I? Southern California. Please. Don't tell me there are lampreys somewhere around here that I don't know about. You're gonna make me never want to go near any body of water ever again. Dude, dude, dude. He also got stung by a tarantula. Well, whatever gets you YouTube monetization these days, I guess. So I'm seeing a lot of water. I'm seeing a lot of breakable blocks. We're probably gonna get the ability to go through or break one of those pretty soon. Things kind of look like earwigs. The enemy designs in this area are, just, are just, 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 just not good for me. They're good, but they don't feel good. They feel icky. I'm gonna eat a pineapple. Oh, tarantula. Hmm? Tarantula hawk. That's a wasp. Oh. You know, I think I've seen that video too. And he's just like, it burns! Got the Valley and Bay Area too. June 1st is the start of Atlantic hurricane season. Yes. Did did I say anything else? Besides that? Like, I already mentioned that there are no hurricanes here. I'm thankful for that. I am. Do 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 do. I sounded worried. I'm just being empathetic, man. I guess sympathetic. Empathetic is if I also experienced the hurricanes. I'm just being sympathetic, man. Not fusion. I gotta go find the uh, switches that turn off the red blocks. This has turned into a Mario Maker level. I get cyclones. I do not get cyclones. Do I get cyclones? I hope I don't get cyclones. Never heard of any, if, if any, if so. He. This definitely feels like something they'd have in one of the Game Boy, in like the Game Boy Color original game. Like this puzzle based on like the color of these blocks. Cause you know, when the Game Boy Color came out, all the games that were exclusively for Game Boy Color had to make use of color-based puzzles. There was a dungeon in the original Shantae that involved, like, red and blue, and you could paint yourself red to walk through red stuff, and paint yourself blue to walk through blue stuff. It was really inventive, actually. One of the worst offenders about, like, everything had to be color-based was, uh... Rightfully so, Link's Awakening DX, because they had that entire color dungeon where the color didn't really do much for that dungeon. 
everything could have been like shapes instead. But besides that, it was just Link's Awakening, so it was still amazing, an amazing game. Da -da -da -da. Very rare for a uh, very very rare for a storm to make landfall in California. Yep. Alright, let's uh, go on. I know there was a locked door I saw at some point. I just need to remember that because I do have a key. A key? No, a yee. Yeehaw! Did she just say yeehaw? I know I said yeehaw. Oh, the enemy says ha. Huh. Pudding ha. Huh. Pudding ha. Huh. I'm sure you guys have seen that Yoshi video, where if you slow down his voice, he you see you get to hear the original voice actor just say pudding ha. Huh. But have you seen the parody video where somebody made? Yoshi make this really, really, I want to say seductive, like, bring, huh? Well, if not, now you know of its existence. And I apologize. <laughs> da, 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 da. A quasi-tropical storm formed over the Great Lakes. Oh? Like, recently, or at some point? Hope it didn't cause too much damage. A while back, years ago. Hmm. And I did not know that. I feel like, as a Californian, like, I don't know what weather is. That's why LaCroix falls from the sky every now and then. Like, what, is, what is rain? I'm just... I, I, I just don't know. I need to be edumacated. Are right, you? Reveal yourself right now, Mr. Chameleon Man. Alright, okay. Hmm. So I could probably just... Tank the hits some more, but let's... Let's see what ability lets me actually just... Dash straight on through that. If I can get it. Like I can dash a little bit, but not as far. Not far. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, this looks like he can be blown up. Blown up! Oh yeah. Mario time. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah, I saw you mention that before. 2005 was crazy because there were so many hurricanes you had to s since since hurricanes are ba are named after people's names and each letter of the alphabet gets a different name 05 had so many you had to start using Greek letters Epsilon and Zeta Oh boy Oh yeah that was 05 wasn't it Yeah Oh I'm back here No way No way there had to be of some there had to be a some some way I can make progress in there. Either that or I'm just missing an ability. I would believe it. I feel very limited right now. Like I need to learn something new. I need a key for that area. Mentally commit it to memory. Got it memorized? Or else I can't really go anywhere. Can't go up from there because I need to be able to break blocks. I think I can't go down because I need to be able to break blocks. I can't go right because I need to be able to dash far. Yeah, okay. I'm um, heading back to the main area. I think there's still... I've still got a ways to go. But da 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 Uh oh, Goku, was she? Hope she wasn't affected too bad. You got her out. Oh, that's good. Before evacuation. Well, that's good. You were able to see that ahead of time. But still unfortunate for a lot of people. Alright, okay. We've reached the point. We're at the dungeon. 
We've reached the point in the dungeon where I am backtracking further than I really feel I have to. So I've clearly missed something. What I'm looking for is a new ability or a key. Either one will help me get through all this. I've got one lead, and if I don't find anything new there, I'm kind of stuck. And that is the top left area of the map. I haven't even gotten a single hard squid. This is disheartening. Uh-oh. I've reached the point of no return. Well, wait a minute. I have to go all the way around. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this sucks. Hi, save man. Bye, save man. Don't talk to me right now. Me Angie. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. And then we do this and that and this and that and this and that and then... Ba da 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 da. Ba da 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 da. Music's jamming though. Wait a minute. This one. We made it back. Sweet. Chicken Angie. That's how you get spicy chicken. Spicy chicken sandwiches. You ever try Popeyes? They've just got a room in the back where they, they make chickens play video games. Streamed live for Twitch, and they get so angry that the spice is inherent in the meat. That's the secret. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I revealed Popeye's secret. But it must be known to the public. It is believed that New England will get colder. Wait. All right, we're talking about we're ta we're, we're talking about uh, this is the ultimate conclusion of small talk about weather. You know, those blocks are the same kind of blocks that we were toggling off in the other room. I need to find a way to get to that room with the blue blocks turned off. Oh, look at this! I have. Actually, I don't have a way to jump up there because I can't directly jump up through this gap. So that's also limited by my ability. Let's try this again from the top. Or rather, from the bottom. Go down and around. My only lead. See what I can do with those blocks. Let's hope I'm right. Do 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 do. Go back. There, there was a there was a toggle switch in the block room. Was there? I didn't even see it. It's probably getting late then. If it's at the point where I'm missing such things. Thank you for letting me know. My eyes, they don't work. I'm gonna blame my color blindness, like a coward. Oh, that's probably not it. Like it's just blue and red. You can't get any more different. I just see the, uh, the, I just see the path being blocked off and I'm like, well, can't do anything here. I'm just playing blind blind. We also knew this. Go, 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 go. Oh, I didn't even see this. This thing right here. My eyes just like wandered to that treasure chest. And then saw it was blocked off. Ow! Let's go. That's not an excuse, it's an explanation. Alright, don't go down. Go up. So that's one way. Check this out, check this out, let's see. I can make it through here. Open, get key. Perfect. I can't believe I went to like a third, a th maybe even half of the entire dungeon. And if only, I've been to this room earlier. 
And even back then, I ignored... I, I, I just completely didn't see that switch. Thank you for being my eyes, chat. To be fair, that blends into the background. Uh, uh, yeah, it, it kind of looked like a plant or something. Hmm. I, I honestly don't know how they could have made that more apparent. Check this chicken out. Battle da da da. Yep, even weather is being crazy right now. It's been kind of hot. It's been kind of hot in California. At least in LA. Not super hot. But like, to the point where I'm gonna start needing air conditioning soon. It is summer. Oop, gotta heal. Super hot. Super hot. Boo -doo 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 -doo. You thought I saw it, so I didn't say anything. You guys know I don't see anything ever. Yep. What? Huh? Yup. Kurimba. Wait. I just went in a circle. However, I have a key now. So let's head straight on to where that locked door is. Let us not delay any further. Boo doo doo doo. 50 degrees over sprint is, but feels like low 80s. That is such a shift. Four weeks of straight, four weeks straight of below 20, negative 20 degree weather, and then 50, but then feels like 80. I don't know how you do it, man. You've got some resolve. Sir, you are a stronger chicken than I. This baby can take temperatures of up to 9,000 degrees. A little bit of Star Fox. I had streamed Star Fox 64, like, very early when I was just starting out. Not really for high scores, just playing it for fun, because I do love that game. I wish Nintendo would make a few more Star Foxes like it. Star Fox Zero actually was a pretty decent step in the right direction there. And I think the only failing of it was just not really evolving that not really evolving that much over 64. Like the controls, once you got used to them, they were just a red herring. Red herring! People blamed them all the time, but they weren't unusable. This is Mighty Switch Force. Again, this is just Mighty Switch Force. Way forward, falling back to what they know, I guess. Werewolf just finished Dinosaur Adventure. Ooh, congratulations to him! Like today? I know he was doing the finale. KO Crossover Spirits! That game is fun. That game is fun! Not what I expected out of a Star Fox game. Not the best Zelda clone, but it's fun. And you get such beautiful lines as, There's something near! I'm stuffed! And nobody brings me any gifts anymore! And who could ever forget? <gasps> you pay this much! No, that's too low! Okay, I'll sell it to you! Oop. Okay, so not sure how that's useful to me. I do have a key. So I guess my my priority right now is finding another key door. One does not simply walk into key door. Going up. He's starting assault. Assault! Assault is a pretty good game. That was made by Namco Bandai. I guess just Namco at the time. And uh The arcades, the you know, arming sections of the game were great. The open Air, the, the open, like, combat area sections of the game were pretty good. Uh, even, like, on foot wasn't, you know, it kind of dragged on a little bit. But they were, it was, it was well made. I'm still borrowing my friend's copy. Why is this a save guy? Probably gonna have to fight something, like, right now. 
On the plus side, it'll probably give me the uh, next transformation. No. Risky butts. Runt. Yeah, yeah. Risky boots. You've got some explaining to do. You got some explaining to do, Lucy. You're so demanding. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Very well. I'll answer one question and one question only. You'll be back. All right, Goku. Okay, then. What are you really doing on this island? What really happened that day? Did you just come here to find that treasure? Shame, shame. That sounded like two questions to me. Those girls vanishing at the same time you show up? It can't be a coincidence. <sighs> I'm feeling generous. If you can beat me, I'll give you the answer. I think I can. 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 Ready? Mega Man style, baby. Huh. Maximum damage. Like you, for all I know, Risky Boots is coming up with new attacks every single time. But I'm really not letting her get any attacks in. Well, I am. I'm just healing everything. Oh, oh. A few more button presses. Stop. And I've done it. Dear me, stubborn as ever. You promised. Risky, tell me. Oh, very well. <laughs> like I told you before, I'm here for the treasure. That's not good enough. Then how about this? The real treasure is the sunken city itself. Gasp! How, how do you sell that? Yeah, take it over to the pawn shop. Best we can do is about, uh, 350. And I intend to take it. What? Huh? How can you steal an entire city? I believe that's enough questions for now. Ta-ta! Okay, city bye, Jesse from Team Rocket. The, the city is the treasure? What? What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Cryptic treasure. anime BS. You know. But why? That's not the question. Is she though? Questions. Oh, yeah. In before, it's a giant warship. Arsenal gear! I mean, that's one way to get it somewhere. Uh, Zapple! Uh. Kinda looks like an apple. Zapple, Zapple wake, wake up. up! Oh, what she said. Who? You? On. I'll get you out of there. Uh, it's another one of these bizarre cages. Where am I? Deep inside the sunken city. Under the island, huh? Mm. Figures. We need an escape plan. Take this. Bonker tortoise. What's this? Out of all the things I could have been, I did not expect a tortoise. What's this? It's a magical fusion coin. Shantae, you have two of those already. You should know. It will allow you to transform instantly into a new form. This one bears the mark of a bonker tortoise. So, breaks blocks and is electric? Uh, is electric? Bonker tortoise? Never heard of it. That sounds bonkers. Bonker tortoises are, a rare, are rare creatures that inhabit this island. They can't swim, but they can smash stone and even spin on their top spike. Using these abilities, you may be able to so you may be able to locate the source of evil in this place. Press ZL to stomp from above. You can also charge up and release Y to perform a destructive spin dash. Like Sonic the Hedgehog? Exactly like Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh boy, gotta go fast. So ZL? Oh! I do the spin dash? Charge up and release Y. Oh, oh! Oh, it does a little electric spark. Wait, wait! Yeah, that's like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, this is gold. I like it. Totois. It's kind of like the, uh, sp the Shine Spark from Super Metroid. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh okay, bye! 
<laughs> Where does it stop? <laughs> All right, it stops there. Whoa, where are we even? We're in a whole new area. Yo, this is a good transformation. I love it. Um, Yeah, let's go explore down here right now. Horizontal block break. Turtle, now I am the teenage mutant ninja turtle. Or maybe my teenage mutated ninja turtle. I don't know. That's one for Rob Liefeld. Teenage half genie mutant turtle ninja. That is entirely too many adjectives. Yeah, chili dogs. Shante use rapid spin. It's super effective. Which is weird because I think that's a normal type move. How do I break that? Wait. Oh. 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 No, it doesn't work like that. Oh, wait, but there's cracked walls up there. I get it. Oh! I instantly go into turtle form. Ready, go! Bunker Tortoise. I feel like a Mega Man X villain. Da -da 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 -da. Bunker Tortoise! Go! Spin! Spin! Hammer! I am Spin and I am Hammer. Take that, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Oop. This is satisfying physics. Seriously, it's like pinball. Wee! Wee! Oh yeah, baby. Left. Again, straight up, just a mighty switch force. They've also got these, like, cannon things. Oh. I gotta find a way... To get into that treasure chest area. I think I gotta go down and around. Up and down and all around. Bump a dump a dump da da da. Bump a dump a dump bump. Buddha bump a dump a dump da da. Up and down and all around. There you go. Open key. Beautiful. Turtle tortoise. Now this is interesting. They went back to the drawing board rather than go with the series mainstays. Elephant monkey. No, we got new turtle. New turtle drill crab. Drill mollusk. Another Mega Man villain. Da -da 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 -da. What is a boomer quanger anyway? Huh? Have you ever seen a quanger in real life? Probably doesn't even really exist. I think that's all I can do here. Go left. I save man, bye save man. Well, I might as well save. Pippin Mario. Woohoo! All things considered, I've only been in this dungeon for like 20 minutes. It feels like a lot longer, because I I just got so stuck with that one switch thing. Da 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 There I feel like there's a purpose to this room. Because otherwise, what? why is it here? It's just the room for me to land in after I break everything? I guess so. Oh, do, 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 do. Destructive! You gotta wonder if... Uh, Indiana Jones really cares about the years and years and millennia of history he's destroying every time he loots a temple wait a I, I gotta find the button to cancel turtle mode yeah okay it's why okay 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 we're good squish kaboom squish kaboom that's a new one you have returned! Fear not, citizens, because I am here! Welcome back! Storm's over and Zoe's happy. Ah, uh, that sounds adorable. That sounds amazing. There you go. Hopefully all is good for as long as possible. Yeah! Haven't missed much. We got a turtle power. Turtle power! Teenage Genie Ninja Turtle! Teenage Genie Ninja Turtle! Genie in the half shell. Turtle power. 
and we're zooming along. Spin! Look at me. I feel so helpless. Zooming along. Zooming along at the speed of song. Got places to go, gotta eat all the cookie dough. Turtle is not invincible to spikes. Good to know. Why I spawn all the way back here? Button is why, because why would you ever want to cancel turtle mode? It is the way to be. It is all you ever need in life. To be turtle is to be one with the universe, to be one with everything. I probably have to go from like even, even further right. There's probably a cannon. Uh, careful, careful. Here we go. Do 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 do. Cookie dough. You guys don't like cookie dough? I don't like cookie dough. Why? Why? Whoop. Spin. Oh, that cannon would be like from really, really far off to the right. Wait, no. Probably far off to the left, actually. <laughs> you know they did that on purpose. Oh, yeah, I see this This entire path is just a straight shot. I wonder if they got inspired at all by Celeste. Because there's one level in Celeste that's like a big old temple. It rem it's like this. Yeah, I can't turtle through that. Turtle power. And it does involve um, using these little bubbles that launch you in a direction to go like all the way across from the entirety of the map from left to right. Anything new I can check here? Probably not. Although I think I know the cannon. Oh yeah, like the very first room of this entire dungeon there was a cannon. I'm gonna check to the right because there is an area I haven't explored there yet. Cookie dough! You had a thought, this needs to be tested. Oh, maybe an experimentation with my abilities? Go ahead, shoot! Do 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 do. Turtle power. Wait a minute, okay. Woo. You hungry? You gonna get some chocolate? Some cookies? Can't go through here. Can I not? Doesn't look like it. But I have been in that room before. Wait a minute. No, I have not been in that room before. That is where the boss is, though. All right, let's go all the way back to the beginning of the lab. Yeah. Whoa, hey now. Can Spike tur Turtle Mode on its back? I think it did, but let me see. Let me try that. We got the red switch here. Because that's what exploded me the first time I was a turtle with spikes. Yep! I thought for sure it would protect me, but I guess not. Oh, that's why there's a red switch here. I wondered. So if the game responds you here, you can actually get through. They thought of everything. Yeah. We're trying, though. We're trying. Ba -da -da -da. This music. You know what I love about a game with good music? When I uh, am lacking commentary, I can just sing along. But it's probably like super off sync. Because my microphone has a little delay on it. Unfortunately. Because of that voice filter I have. It has to like make room for if the filter existed. It's got a little like sound buffer to store the last thing the microphone heard so that it can apply the filter like on demand. You thought you had the puzzle solved. Every puzzle has an answer. But Luke, I don't think that was it. Professor Layton, I love the series. I want to play it on stream. I think they ported the first game to Android. Maybe I can stream on that one. All right, let's see. I'm thinking there's a way to break through. Break on through to the other side. Yeah. Maybe? Maybe not. 
Oh, I thought that was it for sure. All right, okay. Either way. All right, let's let, 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 let's continue going around. Wait a minute. Yeah! Turtle Dash! Wait a minute. Maybe I have just enough Newt Dash to make it through? Yep! Yeah! Okay! But what now? Never mind. Alright. Back to the drawing board. If Turtleback is not vulnerable to spikes, that would have solved. But Turtleback is vulnerable, so Turtle not back. I want my turtle back, turtle back, turtle back, turtle back, turtle back to be invulnerable to spikes. Oh! I didn't realize there was a locked door here. My one weakness in all of these games, never realizing when I have a key. To be fair, I actually didn't know there was a locked door there. Or at least I didn't remember it. <laughs> Kirby be bopping. That is the reason I have the party Kirby emote. Shmikrits. It's a shmikrit. Secret. Minoki secret. I was thinking of more emotes. I did not press up. Controller game. Why would I want... Why would the game even let you just launch directly into point blank spikes? Left. Okay, good. Okay, good. I wonder. Gotta be some other path in this room. Right. Oh, up, right, up. There you go. Got him. Sorry, ma'am. This is for the greater good. The greater good. Good. Ow, 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 ow. You have to imagine, you have to notice that she doesn't retract her head into the shell. So while she's spinning, if at any point the wall hits her face, they're just, they're just full force directly onto the eyeball. <laughs> Not great. I want all these. I want all of them. So shortcut. Nice. Game can shoot you into death. Way forward's a little cheeky like that. Every now, that was all me. Every now and then, they got that cheek. Uh, I think I noticed something. Also, let me heal. Please allow it. I noticed the spikes on the side of the wall. Uh, there. I think I saw a gap in them. Maybe there's like a secret. I just gotta time this right. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm imagining things. I do not want to go in there. Right, right, right. Uh, no. There can't be a secret, because the map... The map is full. If there was a secret, it would have been on the map. I think. There is a secret! I see it. There's actually a path over there. But I don't think I can... Mm. Let me see. Let me, let me experiment. From here. Like, here. Oh. Never mind, I was right. Yeah. Oh, and this is how you get all the way. Wait, this is where I came from? No, it's not. This is how you get to that cannon that was in the beginning. Figured it out. Oh, this has been plaguing me this entire dungeon. But you know, that's game design. Is that my new catchphrase? That's game design. Show it to the player. Lead them wondering how to get it. And then when they finally figure it out, they it's like they've been, they've been able to scratch an itch. That's been just eating away. Eating away at their mind. Secrets are marked on the map. Well, secret rooms. Just anywhere there's a path, you can see that there's a gap in the wall. And I just, I thought I had noticed like a little gap in the spikes and I was actually right about that. 
Vindicating. That's design. A game design. Wait a minute, Sprint. I think that might be taken. I think it might just be taken. But that's just a design. A game design. Huh. For shame. Do -do 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 -do. Well, this is a room. If I first try this. Okay. 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 <laughs> uh, I was wondering when that was going to happen. What I want to do is I want to get into that cannon on the left right there. So I want to go I Need to get to the bottom level. Go left, down, right, more right. Up. There you go. Got it. It's like one of those Pokemon puzzles. Where, uh, you slide on the ice. You just have to work your way backwards from the exit. Rip. Ripping pepperoni. Never regretty. Yo! Not even four hours into the stream, we're at our second dungeon boss. You guys ready? To see what kind of waifu monster they've concocted this time? You know it. Let's go! Yo. Hydra? Multiple heads? It is a Hydra! Hail Hy- No. I saw it coming. Not just multiple beasts, one big one. But is she like a Hydra Medusa? Two Worm Siren, Parasite Petting Princess. Petting? We playing Whack-A-Mole? Whack. Whack. Thwack. It's gonna get super fast. It's gonna get super fast at, at some point. Like multiple heads coming out. One. At some point, I'm, I probably have to like, bring out the turtle and just like Bob a whole bunch at once. Yeah, yeah. I think I got the strats. I can't go that high though. Oh, they're only appearing high right now. They know. They know. Hut. Hut. Uh oh. Excuse me? Oh. Oh no, she's pretty. Pretty bad! Take that! Fight ball out. No? Yes? Maybe. Can only attack the eye when it's not shooting a laser. Seems like. Don't want to have to use another auto potion. Uh, fish. 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 Get back here! Yo, stop it! Pokeball. Okay. Oh, I I get it. I think I know what to do. Stop it! Yeah! Squish! <laughs> oh, she's like an angler fish. I see. And this is go even further beyond! Now this is a lot easier. <laughs> Chalk it up to me buying every single hair upgrade, like immediately. But it works. Well, rip her. I, 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 I. That's like the opposite feeling I had about the big old Omnidrone siren. The one in the big old Gundam ball. 
Like that one, what I was supposed to do wasn't very obvious. This one, it was too easy. Maybe I shouldn't have upgraded so much. I'm overpowered. You made it. Boy, that tortoise magic sure came in handy. I never knew I could transform like that. I don't think I got all the squids. Hmm. Huh. What is it? Did I do something wrong? You're creeping me out a bit. Nah. Just wondering. How did you get out of your cage anyway? I never got captured. Suspicious, but why don't... Why didn't they like me? Ugh, I did miss one. I think I'll get it off stream. Like, it's, it's probably somewhere in there. I was never in a cage. It wasn't captured during that performance. You're the only one that wasn't captured? Hmm. That's awfully suspicious. Uh, now that you mention it, where are the others? Uh. Well, I rescued Plink and Vera. So I'm guessing Philin and Harmony, fill in the blank, are still trapped down here somewhere. Hmm. Something about this doesn't feel right. I'm gonna have a word with Plink and Vera. Hold on. You don't think I did it? You don't think I had anything to do with these goings on? Do you? Just keep doing your thing. When you're ready, meet me in Armor Town. It's at the far east side of the island. I'll be waiting for you there. All right, let me just double check. It's not somewhere like really easy. Whap. 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 Yep, missed one. Map. It's not gonna show it on the map. All right. Well, uh, it just saved before we did that cutscene, so I'm just gonna get that off stream. It's fine. Because I am good. I'm good for the night. I was gonna spend tonight doing some villager hunting and animal crossing but wouldn't you know it that trader tom nook sold the plot after one day instead of the usual two so i guess klaus the bear is moving into my town uh... all right that's the stream i had a fun time this game's good this game is very satisfying like as far as metroidvania go games go i don't play a lot but this is paced, like, exactly to my liking. Like, I can knock out a dungeon or two every stream, and, like, other Metroidvanias, I can traverse the entire map looking for power-ups and whatnot and feel like I haven't really gotten anywhere. Here, like, we're going level by level. It's like Zelda. And that's really good. Transformations are satisfying. The items are powerful. And it's just, the story is completely me. I'm not saying it's funny or good. It's funny in the way I think things are funny, in that they are not. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Thank you all for being here. It was fun. Tomorrow, more Paper Mario. As you know, I'm going to try not to stay up too late tonight. I'm going to try not to stay late tonight. But everybody, go check out Way Forward Games. They're really fun. Go play the other Shantae games. I will show them as much as I need to. Making no sense. That's my brand. You know what? I should sue Way Forward. They're stealing my ideas. Let's see if there's any art. If you ever got any art to show, go ahead and post it to the Discord or tweet it at me. Looks like we don't have any today, today, today. So, uh, we're gonna find somebody to raid. If, as always, if you haven't already, follow me on Twitch to catch me live next time I play this or any other game. Uh, or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, join the Discord. We just got a raid. Mods, I am literally ending right now. I am literally in the middle of my spiel, but <laughs> how's it going? How was your stream? <laughs> uh, boy, I guess I'm giving that shout out. You know. You did that on purpose, didn't you? You just wanted to get in right at the end. Shout out. Go follow Mots. He's a cool friend. I uh, met him through Brad, and you know, he's just a really down-to-earth guy. He likes to show his support. And if you want to think about his name in a way that is not about applesauce, then think about it like mozzarella. And that's actually a real better way to put it. He didn't know I was ending. Pro oh, promise. Oh, he prom promise. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, 
you know, we can combine our powers together and go ahead and raid somebody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, nice. He said we want infinite stream. Oh? I'm sorry, I can't do that. I don't have that much. I, I, I'm running out as it is. I, I, I rationed out a specific amount just for, 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 for me. So you're gonna have to get your stream elsewhere, Knives. I'm sorry, but that's a ban. I mean, what? Okay, Cloudy HD, what's up? Welcome. Let our powers combine. Earth, chicken, wind, and fire. But I... Uh, I, I was doing my ending spiel. Uh, go social media stuff. Here's links. <laughs> uh, yeah, just, 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 yeah. If you are going to sleep, though, have a good night, and I'll see you next time. Stream tomorrow, Paper Mario. It's going to be great. Have a good night, and stay clucky.